That would have been great for Dutch to undefin. <laughs> oh, was that too late that I missed Oh, you it? missed it. Yeah. Damn. Hey, guys. Rise and shine, us sign. Huh? <laughs> I said shine. Uh, Good sorry. morning, students! That's what you missed. Nice. Hey, guys. Yeah, it is uh, Sunday. Welcome to our Hello. Dungeon Select. Everybody, can we just get a round of applause? Ethan made it to the <laughs> session, guys. Ethan fucking made it to the session. Ethan, well done. Ethan has done worked it. like 13, 14 hour shifts this week to guarantee that he could be here for this. We appreciate we your appreciate sacrifice. Guys, guys he, he's made a deal. He can't. Like you'll have Sundays off, or like at least every other Sunday off. That's that was the I, promise I, I we got so, made no, no, three months ago. I, I was never gonna get Sundays off. I was supposed to get like opens on Sundays so that I could be Maybe out done for in like time, five. Yeah. I am, yeah. but things are fucked. The things have Literally. been fucked in multiple different ways, and like oh, we had a massive refurb, and oh fuck, we're now taking like like twice as much money. Um, and it just means that like Sunday being our busy day, like it's fucked. We're taking more on a Sunday than the coffee shop used to take in like two weeks. Yikes. With not that much more staff. Mm. Oh, damn. So Sundays um, are rough. But hopefully, uh, oh, bye. Hey. Hello. Oh, he's back. Ah, I hit the wrong button, my bead, my bead. Nice. But, uh, okay, yeah, hopefully we'll get to a point where Ethan can reliably join us again, because that'd be cool. Uh, and if not, then, well, shit, something's going to have to happen. <laughs> because... Wait, I finally get my birthday wish? I mean, if 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 Belle comes back and Ethan finds out for some reason it's going to be like a, a even longer term, can't come back, we can always have Brooks had to... Something happened to Brooks while he and Kess were saving Brooks his dad. Dead. Yeah, Brooks died on the search for we'll, uh, her father's we'll, we'll care. We'll, 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 Brooks we'll, we'll, went we'll back to his home planet. Uh, for the future, but... Today uh, is a special day because, well, yesterday Birthday. marked our uh, six-year anniversary, guys. It was yesterday was it was exactly six years ago when we first went live with Dungeon Select Campaign One, Session One, um, and it's been it's been six fucking years. That's crazy. I think that was our peak. We peaked then. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. Maybe because my mic was shit. Regardless, uh, we've we've mic. all uh, you know grown uh, pretty close as friends i mean six years ago we started this and then suddenly last year we were or this year even it's not it's not quite 2025 yet but this year yeah uh we fucking went to canada to go to laura's wedding and that's pretty crazy and i feel like you know, that, that is, is crazy just, that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for this little D, &D thing we do so that's pretty cool you know um uh shatter thanks for the for the for the sub appreciate you um, <clears throat> so today we're doing a special one shot to kind of um, celebrate six years of us doing this and hopefully many more. Uh, I know that this, especially this year, has been very up in the air scheduling wise, but um, things are, you know, I, I'm hoping that we can kind of get back into the swing of things. Uh, we have been for the last few weeks, and let's, let's hope that uh, that sticks. But um, Because also even six years ago, everyone had different jobs yeah. almost all of us you were know. living in different places we like grew everyone's older, in very and different as you grow places older, in life you have get more responsibilities that's kind of how that works so, but right uh, it sucks we've been saying parts, that for five years we could have a consistent schedule that's the, that's the more insane shit that's crazy yeah but um so yeah today as you can see on the stream uh we're bringing back some old characters uh one being a especially deep cut <laughs> to the early days mm. of uh, dungeon select <laughs> being uh, being lausanne um that's fun. Uh, but yeah, today we're doing a one-shot, which is basically a sort of a, you know, a crossover episode, if you will, between uh, Campaign 1 and Campaign 2, um, which we'll get into shortly. Um, but first things first, I want to just take this opportunity to say thank you for humoring me and showing up every Sunday to this thing that I write for you guys and for you guys to play in. I could not have wished for a uh, better group to do it with. I, I really enjoy all of this and I, I enjoy all of you as much as, as it's it's funny to like you know take the piss out of each other and whatever the fuck like you guys um make every sunday very fun and i appreciate it and uh, you guys watching uh, i know things have been rough but thank you for sticking with us and um you know the youtube's up to date back to weekly sessions uh, and the best is yet to come i promise
I mean, thank you for right, spending so much fucking t of your free time, like yeah. writing these silly little Thanks stories. Thanks for ruining for my us, mental like, health. Yeah, like you know, thank you for <laughs> destroying us uh, mentally, and then still being like, you guys have fun. Yeah, Whoa, bro. bro. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. make sure the boys. This have fun, man, man, six years. This man, six years on, still like doesn't know if yep. it like was a good session. Like, as we're as we're there, like in actual tears over like the <laughs> story say, that's been made in front I'm of two us. For two in campaigns that have made me cry. The more I think I cried uh, last week. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Rocker. That I did. Um, but yeah, uh, before we get into today's adventure, uh, anything anyone else wants to say, or whether it's an announcement or just something they uh, they want to share, I don't know. Uh, favorite moments from the last six years, whatever. Anything you want to say, do it now, and then we'll get into. Uh, um, again, the the usual standard, because even though they won't be usual for a while, we are getting close to the end, but there was mm. another Call of Another Deep episode that just happened yesterday. It'll be up on YouTube soon. And we already have our next session date, because we're getting better at that, which will be Let's October go. 12th. So, yeah, it's the, it, it's getting really wild in the end game of the campaign. Last session had, like, a, a bunch of body horror as the theme because of the choices the players made. It's a good time. So you should watch it. And there may or may not be a return of uh, that Dutch geek to that campaign before it ends as well. So <laughs> they get to know because they're special because they've been here for for a long time dealing with our bullshit. So you guys get to know. The pl the other players don't know, so don't tell them. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Jamming them right now. I'm gonna <laughs> talk. I'm messaging Bowdy as we speak. I'm sending <laughs> sending the clip. <clears throat> clip it ship it no um yeah we should definitely uh, like have a chat about that soon uh yeah. just to kind of figure yeah, out yeah, when yeah. that's gonna happen um but uh we'll figure it out um anyone else anything any announcements anything like any, any fun anecdotes anything they want to share before we get into today's shenanigans i mean uh, announcement wise spooked over is fucking two days away and i got a bunch of good Ooh. games lined up so yeah, uh, sorry I, uh, I plan on uh, partaking in some spooked over shenanigans. In terms of sure. things I enjoyed about the campaign? Just no. leaving the first time? <laughs> Nothing really. <laughs> uh, honestly, um, um, I'll say I appreciate uh, not only all the work Dutch does writing, but letting you're very cool about letting us kind of experiment or rule of cool things. Like just the whole inclusion of the lingering soul daigon plotline period like a lot of dms would have been like no because it's not you know a a tested uh subclass it's had a bunch of playtime and stuff so and same with also like the whole arcanite Soko armor Ash debacle uh i can handle it <laughs> <laughs> and also like the whole arcanite armor I and mean, me being like hey can i like <clears throat> loophole this mechanic to do this thing and you're like sure we'll figure it out and we did so Appreciate that, because it, it's that kind of shit that adds to the whole wanting to prioritize nah, this every Sunday, and, like, I could make IRL plans, and I'm like, no, I must play D&D. Nah, fuck Dutch, he doesn't <laughs> let me do the bullshit I want to do, which is definitely not overpowered, fuck you. Uh, can we make sure that all of you have Tailspire launched and ready, so that we uh, have that at the ready whenever uh, it comes up? Yes, sir! This no, man sir. has not updated Tailspire for, like, <laughs> six months. I've been keeping it updated, you know, the, the once a month I open Steam. Yes. Bless you. Bless you. So I don't know, man. I'm pretty sure you were live like two times. The with uh, with that all said and bullshit. done, let's uh, let's get into today. So we begin today's adventure as any other day. Uh, you all wake up, go about your daily business. Um, except something is different for all of you. Well, we'll start with the Lazarin. You awaken after a long night of sleep. The memory of killing Brixoth or Valor still very fresh on your mind, although. You don't remember getting into bed. Your most recent memory is teleporting your allies to safety, yet here you are in your bedroom. Brooks, the last thing you remember is aiding Kess on her research to finding out as much as possible about the cure for her dad. Yet you find yourselves waking up in your bed, alone, no one around, and also don't remember going to bed. Morwen. Your day starts as any other. You awaken in this fortress that you magically created and kept up. Hunting down all of Banak's simulacrums and clones, still uh, your objective and, and goes well. You just track down where you believe is to be one of the final ones left. But suddenly it clicked. 
You don't remember going to bed last night. Yet here, here you walk around in your in your bedroom. Uh, Kisarin. The last thing you remember is is giving Ryagel some advice on particular sensitive matter that her and the guild are working on. Yet suddenly you find yourself also in your bedroom by yourself. And that strikes you as odd. And lastly, Lausanne. <clears throat> the last thing Favorite you remember me. is um, you were in Port Sarim on some sort of recon mission, uh, scouting out the area because you're, there's this an important important shipment coming. Yet suddenly you're in the tavern in Port Sarim in in, your, in in a bedroom, and your memory is foggy about how you got there. Then all five of you hear a strange voice, almost as if like muffled, talking to you through a wall. Ah, very good. You're all awake. Hold on. Suddenly the ceiling above you gets taken off of your individual room. You see the giant face of a humanoid man. Stubby nose, long white hair, and a scraggly beard. We are oh, wearing elegant looking red robes, holding a marble staff with a giant red ruby set in the top. With a whisk of his hand, you feel yourself floating up, lifted out of your rooms. And you begin to grow in size and land in front of this individual, now your normal size. You look back, and you see this kind of, almost this, this doll house that he lifted the roof off of, and all the individual rooms were the rooms that you were in. Very good. Um, you must all be confused, uh, but I promise you're here for a very good reason. Good. If you can name a reason good enough for me to have been suddenly kidnapped away from my family, I will be shocked. Well, <clears throat> I expected um, your adapting to this scenario would be a bit difficult, but um, my name is uh, Terence Hayford. I'm a wizard of the city of Linorum, a magical capital of the Linos Republic. Um, you see, I am in need of a group of strong adventurers like yourselves to go and retrieve an artifact for me from a nearby tomb. And the adventurers I recruited before, well, let's just say I cancelled the job uh, before they even set out. Absolute amateurs, you see? So, uh, me being somewhat of a fan of fiction, I decided to, well, I read all these fantasy books about the adventures of the Heroes of Exile and the Elemental Champions and whatnot, that I decided to, well, since the real adventurers don't cut it, um, I used my magic to turn you into real people. Um, surely if anyone can do it, it is a, it's, it's groups of adventurers who save their world in the books. So, um, I get that you're confused. Hold on, do you not, do you not think we're real people? Yeah, this is about the response I expected. Sorry, also, <clears throat> where the fuck did you say you're from? You know what I'm, um, well, obviously, that, that place, um, what? Plane? The material plane. Where? Right. Where are we? And when are we? Um, well, where are we? Uh, we are currently in my uh, manor just outside the city limits. Um, in the Linus Republic. Um, when are we? Well, um, I believe it is the 17th year of the Second Era. Um, I, I don't really check the calendar too much, but 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 the thing that these places won't mean anything to you because, and he'll show you a book. Uh, it is it is this book is is called uh, the Heroes of Exile Saga. Oh, it's getting meta. Three. It's getting meta. Well, see, you live here in these books. And in a time that hasn't happened yet, how are there even books written about us? No, 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 no. This world, this. How do I explain? Is your, your second fictional... era different from our numbered eras? Oh yes, because our second era is real. Yours was written by an author. Who wrote the book? Oh, by no. the way, <laughs> who was the author? Uh, he. Uh... Strange uh, man, not, not not necessarily uh, a public figure. He, no one really knows who he really is. Or what Didn't he ask his like. fucking biography. Ask for his name. Uh, he is the pseudonym uh, of, of Dalton Moat. Um, 
Oh, he... right. Okay. Make it, make it up. Make it up. All right. Uh, listen, <laughs> listen here. I know I what you think. Here so your, your magic is so powerful, you can make physical beings out of fiction. Guess what? We're not fucking fiction. We exist somewhere, and apparently somewhere in your future which makes no sense no, at all either way those we words on a page is a lot more the way there are people waiting for us expecting us people are gonna be really pissed that we're gone at least for some of us i don't know about you i'm sure it's the same gestures to the non-heroes of exile people mm -hmm. so if you could just put us back to our world and not in the pages of your stupid book that would be great yeah but that's the thing you, i'm trying to make you understand is is what, what, what's real for you exclusively oh. lives within the pages of these books. Yeah, and every philosopher says perception is reality and some other bullshit. I don't give a shit. We know we're real, whatever you think, so just send us back, please. And next time, use a fucking letter if you want to hire someone to do a job. Quite hard sending a letter to a place that doesn't exist. Well, you seem so powerful. I'm sure you could figure it out. Probably could. It's the wrong voice. It's the wrong voice. <laughs> the wrong voice. <laughs> Hello, my name's Morwin. <laughs> Morwin got old real fast. Morwin got <laughs> real old. Old and had a gender. She stopped sorry. taking her fucking <laughs> multivitamins. I listen. I understand that 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 you are confused. Morwin's different, man. And I I expected as much. So hey, with the I, film I understand changing. you guys need to. Adapt to this new reality of yours. Um... <laughs> also, no, I give up. I give up. <laughs> also, why should we do as you say if we if we were characters from this books? Um, now we've got this sense of freedom. Can we just just go? Well, don't don't no. don't feed into whatever whatever fantasy he's trying to convince us of. Don't feed into it. Okay, do not acknowledge for a second. That we were once this. fictional characters. Okay, but there's an insane guy, right? I'm right. Who there. seems to be pretty powerful. Y mm -hmm. Yes, okay, we're talking about you. Fucking talking about you, not to you. Give us a second. Um, <laughs> right. Um, there's an insane guy saying this insane bullshit. Probably should lean into it a little bit, because then we can get on with our fucking lives and go back to what we're supposed to be doing. Sorry, um, it's been sort of I'd hard not couple of time days. sitting here when I should be killing clones. Sure. Should be killing dragons, but you know, here we are. Oh, dragons I really do like so I really yesterday's do like those, news. Those chapters, one of my personal favorites. Oh, what the? You like those chapters? Like clenches I think fists. I think they're fucking hell, but you know. Well, there's a lot of drama, but uh, the ending is quite satisfying. But it's obviously, you know, spoiler alert. All that. Um, how does it end then? I think I want to know. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to know. Well, which one? Your oh, sorry, oh, Morwen? He, he can plug his ears. I don't care what he thinks. Well, Morwen, uh, I can tell you how your story ends. It's not good. Okay. Not great. Um, Shock we die? Let's or... just say that your obsession with Banak and all of his clones, uh, well, it unfortunately leads to uh, an outcome you... I won't particularly like to hear. That's all I'll say. Yeah, they didn't tell me anything. No, because you know, I, if I tell you how your stories go, you'll probably go even more mad and insane, and your brains might just turn to mush. But if I'm just a story, it won't change anything, will it? Oh, yeah, but I summoned you or here for you a reason. I would like you guys box. sentient to do what I summoned you here to do, and then you can all go on on your merry way back into your books and, and, and live out your stories. You've been really awfully quiet, looking at, looking at Brooks. What's I, your take on this bullshit? I'm still trying to figure out whether I've sobered up yet. Oh, so you summoned a drunk? That's promising. He's if I'd best. known we were dealing with he Nicole, I would have At Nicole. least lightly intoxicated. Promise. This feels like a fever dream, and I'm... I would not put it past. The Tell you what, I was I'll give you guys a moment. Me for a funny <laughs> I will give you guys a moment. Room, you guys can talk. Uh, about some 
books and do some reading, look at some maps, whatever it is. Um, once you guys are a little more acclimated, we'll continue this conversation. And he turns around and, and leaves the room and shuts the door. Back. Can I pick oh, up the yeah. book? Yeah. And <clears throat> can I open it up and see if yeah. it is a work of fiction? It's a language we don't read. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, the book he showed you um, was called the, the Heroes of Exile Saga. And it is this large book that is divided in all these, these sub uh, sub chapters. Um, and, 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 and there's this foreword by this Dalton Moat individual uh, that basically uh, states, um, I am writing these stories to inspire hope in a world where there is none. Where adventurers need to stand up against what's bad, but there are none. Let these stories inspire people to do what's right and stand up against evil. And it is just it's the, it's chapter one. It has okay. Lausanne, it has, it, like, very early on, you can see your backstory, all very accurate, and, and your first initial adventures with the Heroes of Exile. It speaks about you guys searching for this artifact known as the Chromosphere, and it, it, it has everything. Okay. It has things in it that Lausanne, even about you as a person, that only you should know. Yet it's there. New working theory. To wherever the fuck we are, and to that asshole, this is a book. But someone who is from our times and knows these stories wrote them, pretending they're fiction to bring them to this place where apparently hope doesn't exist and it's a piece of shit. Um... So to them, it's fiction, just because whoever, the author did not bother to share with the world, they were actually writing down other people's stories. Uh, Mr. DM, mm -hmm. being the learned woman that I am. Learned woman. Um, <laughs> has there ever existed a Lernorum Republic from like the second era that I would have heard of like reading books anywhere? No, all of these place okay. names I just want to make are sure. like nothing to you, nothing to you. I'd like to go up to Brooks. Oh no! I just wanna, I just wanna like poke him and be like, are you real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brooks has a lot to find out very fast. <laughs> is this real? Am I hallucinating, Brooks? I need to know. I need to know. If you keep poking me, I'm going to twist your bollocks off. Oh my god, it is you! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why, I would uh, say the most uh, plausible we... answer is that this wizard used powerful divination magic, or rather the author of these books used powerful divination magic to learn about each of us and inform the stories in the book. Yes, but the problem it's... is that this place never existed in our time, ever. Well, well then we I think the author could... maybe traveled planes or traveled like a I... other dimension. I have a feeling that we are in a different empire, where the calendar is measured by a different date, by different emperors or rulers, and that's why the date is a little odd. Do you want me to try and find out? If you can. Alright, dude, I'm glad I actually prepared this spell today, boys. <laughs> is it like a divination spell to gain information? <clears throat> it might just be. Um, I'm going to cast divination. Oh, literally. <laughs> and so if we are in the same plane, I believe, let me just check the wording on it. Mm -hmm. well, let me whip out the spell as well, just to with you. Uh, divination? Time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Magic and an offering. We would have to use something that is something appro like important to you slash your religion. Fuck the um, new books. God damn it, hold on. It's showing me the wrong divination. Oh, wait, yeah. No. Damn it. Because it's only a fourth level spell. I know it's a fifth. 100%. Oh, God. Are we going to have yeah, to. Yeah, like, yeah. Is Roll20 yeah. Roll also like all, all on D&D, whatever the fuck now? That sucks. <laughs> you want me to get oh, my 5e physical, tools changed my... it too. Here, wait, no, no, no. Divination, divination legacy, fourth level spell. 
Uh, is it fourth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought Magic, I swear it was a fifth. An offering put you in contact with a god or a god's servants. You ask a single question concerning a specific goal, event, or activity to occur within seven days. Uh, the M offers a truthful reply. The reply might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme, or an omen. Well, it doesn't take into account any possible circumstances, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. How do I fucking phrase this? Um... And who are you trying to reach? Also important. That... Uh, probably whatever your god of like knowledge would be. But well, we we in, you know back in the olden days. That's that's of er C1 Eros. C2, there was the god of wisdom in Aros. Yeah, we uh, yeah. we've all been introduced to in some way, shape, or form throughout. Okay, so I would probably try and contact Aros and say. Do we only exist in story? You get a reply in the form of just a bunch of flashing images in front of your eyes. You don't feel a connection. You are convinced that whoever you are trying to reach doesn't exist nor has ever has never existed in this stop world. ew stop oh, i hate it <laughs> oh. hmm. <clears throat> um so good news or bad news okay you pick the good news is we are alive bad news um, I don't believe we actually exist. Wait, can we still use our, right. like, uh... And I'll try and cast Thaumaturgy and just try and, like, make, like, a booming sound happen? Yeah, that still works. Magic still works here. Yes, but, like, the god Aros doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, fucking straight for my, uh... <laughs> like, <laughs> symbol of Joaquin. Well, I get my powers from Joaquin and... I can still use my powers. And if gods are also linked to generally specific planes, I'm going to continue for my own sanity to work on the theory that we are in a plane <coughs> so far removed from ours that to them, yes, we are all these stories. And I'm going to choose to believe that, because otherwise I'm going to have a breakdown, and I would like to avoid that. I'll be honest. I don't know what she's on, but I'm on that same. I feel like it's... Brooks, there's a lot that's happened since you've been away. Um, so oh, who are you guys? Oh! Well, clearly they know each other, points at Elazarin and Brooks. Well, but I know who you two are. I mean, I've read the... I've well, of course you know who I am. And you know, of course everyone, you know knows the heroes. everyone knows the Heroes of Exile. Who, who the fuck are these guys? The heroes heroes of Exile! <laughs> Brooks, were no, you drunk no, when this no, all happened? We, we, we met some of them, and they didn't look yeah. like... We saved yeah, the world, yeah, we kind of fought Orcus' incarnation. Yes, because we've met Nicole, right? You know, like oh, the, Nicole. The... Yeah. Who is he, by the way? I haven't seen him in a while. I've been busy. Old. <laughs> well, I mean, same. So He's doing He's doing, He's doing. doing very well. All happy to hear that. I don't know who you are, though. I don't recognize your... No, um, we... Uh, looks at Lozan. Uh, probably some of the first ones. I mean... Honestly, we're technically the originals. Just saying. But we also were some of the first to part ways, so we're probably less spoken. Oh, like uh like the old drummers of a band. Yes, no, I get it. Uh, How did you looking at Kisaren? You do recognize um some facial traits and whatnot. Uh because you have had a conversation several conversations with Ryagel. There's definitely some similarities there that you spot. Yeah, and like Morwood and I probably have like a we know of each other because we're both still in in the guild active, but we yeah, I mean overlap. I still go back so every like, so often. Everything. Yeah, we're like sure you guys have acquainted had... slash coworkers. <laughs> well, my name is Elazarin Julius Vinod Dumba. Um, God, it's what a mouthful. I can we just only have to use one of those. Thank you. Just Elazarin, it's fine. Can I just um, call you Eli? No, just call me Elazarin. That no, is my it's name. Lol. 
It's not Brooks. Oh, Laszlo. I... Brooks, I swear this is not the time to be fucking around with this, okay? You've this missed a lot. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, whisper to Brooks, like, I know we just met, but, and I take a minute to really look at <coughs> probably, like, the lines, the dark circles, the visible signs of just, like, strain and how on edge a Lazarin is, how, like, tight he's, like, holding all his, like, muscles and stuff, like, I know he's your friend, but you might want to believe him. He, he looks a little tense. I mean, more than the rest of us right now. The only time this man is not tense is when he's being paid. What's that supposed to fucking mean? You're a whore. It's, <laughs> it's not true at all. You paint me a very bad thing. Uh, you guys are having this, this interest in conversation, money. the door swings open again. Just... So, um, how are we doing? What the we fuck do you want gods, us to do? magic men. Listen. Once I, my my magic allowed me to conjure you here, certain I objective. I so don't want to hear about this. Once the objective is complete, you'll be swooped right back into the books and into your world, and it's almost so like all of this want... was a mere dream. And why do you want the thing that you want? Like, what's so well, special about it? Uh, I am in search for a shield. Right. Yes. But, uh, what I want, what I need, um, is, 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 there's a few miles east, there is a small hill, and underneath that hill is a network of tunnels. I mapped them out for you, and I'll hand you the map once you guys are ready to go. Um, and then that tunnels will lead you to a tomb. And the legend has it that a nameless champion of the Republic was buried there eons ago. And the stories go that he carried with him a sentient shield that went dormant when he died. That shield, uh, Light's Bulwark, is what I want you to get. Think of the things I can learn from it. So much of our history we don't know. Never be told to me by, by, by something, well, someone that was there would be invaluable. There's a lot of our... Mm world that is being kept in the dark from us, and I'm on a quest to finally be able to, to have the people of the Republic learn the truth. And that shield is the key to that. And what's stopping you from getting it? Why do you need adventures? You seem to be powerful enough, I mean, if you're so powerful to, you know, summon us. To hear, uh, surely you can just grab a shield from a hill. Well, um, tunnel technically. Uh, no, not really. I there's a lot about our world that, that that you don't know and you won't understand. And need a quick hmm? history lesson. A quick recap. Um, oh, the Linos Republic is but a small piece of land in a continent named Aetia, and the Republic, um, eons ago, was warded off from the rest of the continent. There was all-out war, each country and each Republic, an all-out war, and our leaders back in the day, and this is, this is hundreds of years ago, uh, put up a ward. There's this, 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 this impenetrable barrier that now dots along our borders, keeping us in, but keeping all the outsiders, well, out. And then there's all these, these, these stories that our, that our leaders tell us that oh, the rest of the world is bad. It's, it's, it's not a good place and we're safer this way. Well, I doubt it. And once I finally have information from someone that was there before the barrier went up, tell the people the truth, or well, maybe I can spark a rebellion, and we find a way, we overpower our leadership to finally take those barriers down, and let us find out for ourselves what the rest of this continent is like now. That's great and all. Cool, great motive. But why can't you do it? I am very smart. I lack 
the physical attributes that I would need to fend off any nastiness that can be found but on the ground. But you're so powerful that you can summon us from books. Surely you can make yourself stronger. I wish that's how it worked. <clears throat> it's not. Also, I find it very questionable. Your alleged end goal is start a rebellion and you have to hire people with no knowledge or context of your society to help you do this, perhaps because no one who actually knows anything about this place is willing to help you for valid reasons. No, you're really just Deeply overthinking concerning. it. Um, the only reason I conjured you up here is because I read your stories and I thought, wow, these guys are amazing and really good at what they do. Let's conjure them up here and they can do it for me. That's really there it. are amazing people good at what they do in your whole republic? Isn't that what Not the many. book said? Everyone here is a loser. <clears throat> Pretty much. I don't... I, I see where you're going. I get it, but also... Just get this shit done so we can go fucking home. Like, what other choice do we have? I know, I know. I'm with the drunkard. Well, um, I know. if I exist in a book, I think I'd rather exist like here. It. I'm with the sad sap. You want to exist here? Sad sap. Well, if I don't actually exist in the book, but I exist out here, then it... why would I want to go in the book? Perhaps it looks She's got the point. Mourn. Maybe he'll let you stay here then when we're done, but it looks like we have no other fucking choice. Other than... Because I can't even, <coughs> can't even threaten the fuck. So we say, send us back. Or we hurt Mormon, you. Or we kill you. Before this, before this moment, each of us was aware of our reality. Before coming here. Or are they implanted false memories? E either way. Whatever awareness we had is the promise of... Something to return to. I say we just... Or it's a return to nothingness. Get the damn shit, but we don't... At this point, nothingness is preferable than the I, yes. migraine that, is, that I can sense coming. If I... what if what lies ahead of us is some sort of uh, dungeon-delving, monster-fighting adventure, then is that not what we were all put here for in the first place? Fiction or otherwise. Let's just do what we do best. Well... Assuming, according to the books, these two also know what they're doing. One, one condition. Attitude. And this time, I'm just gonna take like the my like sword out and just like use it to pin him like via collar, like not skin clothing, but like pin him via clothing to the wall and poke him. Like, listen, mm -hmm. if anything goes sideways, what we're about to do, should anything happen to any one of us, you need to do your damnedest to find some way, whether they're book characters or not, to let those who care about us know what's happened and where we've gone. Oh, Whether you think you should, it's valid or not. I don't give a shit. Have we disappeared yes. from the story? No. Well. I guess we're no. in some sort of limbo and we'll only disappear if something happens to us here. Correct. So if that does happen... Then I get like twist sword a bit so it rips his fancy collar a little. This you make me. sure people know. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You are just like the books. It is actually. So if I didn't return, they wouldn't know what happened to me. I would just. Well, it's almost like you would never, you'd forever. never have existed. So, like. I see, I reject that. People won't instead. mourn you because they. Well, you were never real to them. See, instead, I reject that. You'll make sure they remember who we were and that people are there to mourn us. And that is your job. Yes. Shall we? But that is assuming something goes wrong. You are the heroes of exile, and you have had several names. You've read the books. Clearly, nothing ever went wrong when we were the Wait, heroes. Wait, what are of they exile. known as? Uh, it started off as ragtag fuckwits, but eventually, it, it slowly, but over the years, transitioned to uh, the elemental guardians. Is something that's kind of stuck. Um, there's also there's that's a... our name, leaders, yeah. element. God, Looking at them, Ragtag Fuckwit seems fairly I look at Brooks like, God, that is my like personal favorite. I like he's fucked. <laughs> You're complaining about that over Ragtag Fuckwits? How did they put an elemental guardians with a drunk? 
Um, no, okay. He's, well, he's long a very story short, short he's good at what he does. Um, okay. a lot of their friends <laughs> are connected to the elemental lords in in, in your world, and um, something something Tiamat something something have to save the world. He isn't drunk all the time. Okay, it's just he gets better at fighting when he is. Okay, it's just he's good at what he does. The the map that he gave us, I just hand it to Lozan and go. Can we please just get out of here and start doing this? Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I'll uh And the two of us will take off and we'll just see if the others follow or just gesture, gesture uh, also at Morwen be like, come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> An adventure with the heroes of exile. This is going to be exciting. Um let me just quickly uh <laughs> <laughs> I know right. <laughs> so you got a map of like the tunnels. Um yeah. give you guys direction of where to go. <laughs> I put it in the DMs because as you can see there's a lot of tunnels there. But he oh, did like kind oh of my. give you a map. Um, that means and that white line is the intended path. Is the intended path. Obviously, you know you know how I feel about exploring. But um, <laughs> what is the intended? Uh, you path? hate you hate when we do it and we shouldn't despise cool. it, dude. <clears throat> no, uh, yeah. Grow. So as you all kind of agree to uh, to go, um, he basically just whisks his hand, and you all suddenly get transported, and your vision kind of goes blank, and when you... when your vision returns to you, you are now outside the gates, that, and like past the gates is this large mansion, you can see in the very far distance, this, this, this larger than life, bigger than any city you've ever set your eyes upon, this is a gigantic city large towers uh very uh, neat, but sturdy looking walls. But and then you sturdy. can see a path heading eastward. And you can already see in the distance, past some woods, this hill that you were told about. I have a bad feeling that we might be in the storybook. I would like to not talk about that the entire time we're traveling, personally. <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. I think that... Uh, well, then maybe we can talk about what these guys have done. I, I... I like the whole alternate plane theory. That just makes Again, I, I'm choosing to believe it, reg regardless of the <coughs> evidence in front of me, because it's helping me cope right now. Um, well, if what he said is true, then this little corner of the world is so isolated. How would he know if uh -huh. uh, the book was uh -huh. fiction or not if the but date is correct about or not if the magical wards surrounding this republic blocked Aris's influence or not would we know i don't know we could be any we could be in any plane or any distance away from no, the like... empires that we're familiar with oh, yes like, but why oh. would Aros be blocked but then this man could use his divine magic well you could still use Magic. You can use magic, it's just the communication. Mormon's not a cleric. Blocked. Yeah, I'm not a cleric. I don't, I don't use Your comments. power is bestowed upon you by a god Sorry. that presumably in this plane does exist, or your powers wouldn't work. Sorry, so you... although the god no. exists, we can't contact them. No, hang on, hang on. You're a cleric. No, you're not a cleric, but you were using divine magic. I nudge. I nudge. It's divination magic. I nudge Kassarin. Look, it's thinking. <laughs> I, I, I whisper back, God, I missed you. We should hang out with it's just, like, where you. You look terrible. <laughs> yeah, I have two teenagers. <laughs> You've aged like so... shit. <laughs> Those are no different. Yeah, I'm like, you I have two like teenagers. Six, but now you're like a four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just draw elf things, you know? Yep. Mm. Couple de I, few I decades. Don't, at least I don't look at, I was like, at least I don't look as shit as that one. Points at the Lazarin. Why am I giggled? <laughs> or as drunk as the other you, one. You wear visible okay. trauma right now, sir. It's true. That's why. It's don't true. tell me that you, this, it's not this, true. This, this man's like, um, haggard. A Lazarin. <laughs> Hello. You. I'll, I'll, I'll barely keep it together. You. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you know you use some palmaturgy your magic still works um it did feel different though mm. Ew. 
Mm. And I don't know if Elazrin wears some kind of Joaquin iconography. Yeah. I literally have the the yeah yeah he yeah, my, it. my coin <laughs> and I'll I'll like I'll check it to like like check if it's still there and held it, but like I'll probably in this thought like look at it. it it's there, yeah. But the face of Joaquin is not. Instead, there's a... just this <laughs> icon of a slanted pile of coin. Ew. Mm. Oh, I so. So money gives him his powers. <laughs> uh, here's a think. Thinking of our, you know, what's going on? I'm a cleric of Joaquin. This is a, a symbol of Joaquin. Yuji has her face on the head, and it's instead a pile of coins. So I guess this is their version, or a similar god of the same domain, or Joaquin's been a pile of coins this whole time and isn't the golden lady at all. So you know. We've either transcended dimensions, or we're actually part of a book. Or... No, those are the only two options. No. <laughs> well... I don't know how they change... Mm. Like, how did it change what I'm wearing, though, and, like, the like the icons that I have? Hmm. <laughs> because this is a like this. fucking fever dream. Does Lozian still have the book? Sense? What book? Oh, the Our no. book. No, no. Lozan I has picked it up, looked at the first few pages, it was like, what the fuck, and then just, yeah, put it down. Like, boring, do seen it, <laughs> lived it, bye. Lived it. Lived it. <laughs> Snore. <Yeah>. Snore. <laughs> Honk you. Well, they're you discussing. Uh, guys, say, 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 walk and talk. This is a walk and talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah walk and talk. Yeah. <laughs> and while, while they're talking about their divine magic, source of magic, oh, times like this, I'm just very grateful that I swing a sword. And I'll, that I'll... I mean, um, so what have fair. you guys done exactly? I mean, I actually know what they're doing right now. Uh, you, yeah, I'm pretty sure you I met met my, daughter. yeah, uh, it's about to say. Well, her name was again uh, Raya. God, it's right there to my got it. I'm probably about wedding flash. Right, yeah. like, is <laughs> that's, that's, that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke, guys. That's yeah. the joke. Yep, that's... joke. So you're you he was <laughs> when he said earlier back to killing dragons, that is that is literally what they're doing right now. Just kill a second one. Very yeah, nice. Really, uh, What's a dragon, dragon to an orcus? I mean Brooks, I if the vision wasn't going on right now, we have to have a talk, because where the fuck have you been? Could really have done with your help with this, by the way, so fucking off, but you know. It's not Wait, like so you I guys are choice. in a group together, but Kesh you're not just sort of went, hey, together? we're going and grabbed me and... I know, but... You know that's a thing called kidnapping, right? And you can charge her. Oh, no. He, oh, I know like... a very good lawyer if you need one. There you go. No, no, no. Well, it's, if I they think... exist. I'll be honest, I think it might be a, a weird romance play for them. I think it's a sex thing. I could be wrong. Oh. <laughs> it's right. It's the sort of thing they do. <laughs> no, no. It's just that... Oh, it definitely happened then. Okay. <laughs> so they elope for sex things when the rest of your fighting It's not dragons. that I went unwillingly. It's just that I would have liked more explanation, but that is just not a thing that she does. And it's <coughs> just generally easier to, to yes and the bullshit. And also... If she... Do you at least have a safe word? Comqua. Diffidelio. Teacup. Aubergine. I'm this conversation with you in front of her last one. I don't want to upset him any further. Oh, oh is well, I mean, I could romantically I... challenged. Romantically, what the hell? <laughs> More than romantically. <laughs> I mean, no, he's capable. Oh! Pull... He's capable of pulling. He just self sabotages and like pushes everyone away, and then acts like he doesn't know why it didn't work out. Oh, so that's why he's all pent up. No, I'm pent up because all my friends died recently. Oh yes, by the way, Brooks. Um, and starts just crying, just like <laughs> crying a lot, just like oh, crying, no, no. just yeah, crying. Just oh, by the way, Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Even though like we're like like ribbing on him stuff, just then m mom brain overrides, and if he uh, and like if he wants one, I'll go off and give him a hug. Uh, it's the part of so crying like so much that like doesn't even know who's hugging him. It's just like yeah. a hug has he happened. It's just like yeah, <laughs> so... 
So she'll, she'll like, we'll stop walking and just go look. And, and we'll wait for you to break the hug. And we'll just, like, sit there as long. But I'll, I'll, while you're looking at Lozan and be like, <laughs> I mean, like, they're like younger us they're just dysfunctional as shit yeah. it's like it's like a good two minutes of crying yeah. and then like and then like <gasps> can we walk oh. and cry please and like it's Sorry. the kind of hug where like i'll rub your back a little bit like yeah. it's a very supportive hug yeah just like wait didn't the cool die no he said they're friends oh well uh, was this, they said they knew no cool maybe who's their friend i, I, I mean, to make sure he's probably going to very soon i'll be honest he's how very old. Like, but yeah. so, so, so Elijah just breaks the news to yeah. Brooks that, like, oh yeah, one of our friends died. And I'm like, and I look at one, one of then, Brooks's favorite friends, that being yeah. said. And then, and then I'll sort of look at Brooks and I'm like, so, Brooks off the dragon. He, he, um, yeah, he killed Dingen. Like, tried to capture me. I died, came back, but then I can, as like a revenge for me being sent away by uh, Davian. Yeah, yeah, he, came, he captured Davian, sent me, killed Daigon, then captured Davian, then we had just me and Jax, and then like some other people, and then there's like fucking, like Cinder was along with us for a bit, and then there's other fucking weird, like, this other fucking bitch came along, I don't know. She was really up herself, kind of like, a kind of an asshole <laughs> at the time. Didn't everything we've been through. Kill Bricks off. Dagon's still very much dead. Soul gone. Soul's like not in a good place, apparently. Can't get that back. So yeah, we're just... Could have done with you and Kess around. Just... just uh... there, there was a better way to probably say everything you just said. Oh, I'm sorry. But it hey. happened like a decade ago. <laughs> Chin up. Oh. It's all just part of a storybook. Now let's go. Oh, oh it's true. God. That's true. It's all just story. Anyway, <laughs> just instantly, just like this conversation never happened. Walking away. This I'm yeah, gonna wait. Right. I'm gonna wait and just look at watch watch Brooks engage Brooks's reaction to everything that was just said before I continue like continue traveling. Pulls a um, bag. Yeah, alcohol. <laughs> okay, so that's the thing. Um, you don't seem like the type, but if you would also like a hug, then I that that that's okay. It's okay I... to express whatever you need to express. I won't say it's a safe place we just met, but we I won't judge you. I'm trying to figure out if this is real. First of all. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Okay. That's... something. Let's figure this shit out as we go, I guess. Um, I, if you were to contact me in the story, I could potentially help your friend. Um, I feel less powerful here, but in the story, or our lives, or dimension, either way, however it works, um, I know how to cast the wish spell. I have no idea what that does. Other than... Anything, really. ...that has been vaguely mentioned because I have spent far too much time recently talking about Jin. The wording needs to be very precise. And you're kind of on uh, with the whim of whoever grants wishes. But there's a chance... Probably the author, if I had to guess. I don't even know if this is real. If it is real, I don't know if we're going to remember it. I also don't know that he's not just having a when, mental break. How about right this? Now. How about this? Takes out a piece of uh, parchment, rips it from like a notebook, um, and writes, um, Morwen can help your friend 
on two pieces of paper and puts one in each pocket of a Lazarus and one of Brooks and go, now if you forget, but later going through your belongings, because these do seem oh, to be I mean... our belongings, then maybe you'll see that and it can prompt your memory. I am not there. I walked away. <laughs> I am well, just walking I will, down the road. Will, whenever we meet, like we all are back in a group, I will yeah. at some point put it in your belongings. Okay. So you have a piece of paper that says more wind can help your friend. That's something that I'm going to think about and deal about at a later date because otherwise she's not going to get done right now. So let's uh let's keep walking, I guess. As you continue... Lazan was quick on Lazarus' heels, so the two of them are just as you going. continue marching, you, you walk through this this forest. It's a small forest. And you can see some of the trees appear to be moving. As kind of crossing the road ahead of you is this large tree like creature made of nothing but bark and branch where its head would be there's nothing and it's just walking around on two legs building this massive almost like mall and it is crossing the road and it seems to almost be ending to the trees <clears throat> and as you all get closer it does kind of your way do the path I tend to these hands off. He continues just tending to the trees, plucking away some dead branches and dead leaves. Neuron seems so delightful in this place. Oh look, tending them first then. Just the one forest actually. Yeah, it's it's this what? weird contrast of this large, massive bulky monstrosity missing a head fully made of tree fully made of wood and branch and, and bark doing this very kind of uh delicate work i'm leaving him to his fucking work he Picking told me he told us to fuck. And... <laughs> oh we do not leave the path that's for damn sure yeah no, no, this, no, no, this no. i do not like want some, to like, world of warcraft shit <laughs> no, D Dutch crossing out the notes. <laughs> Him closing no. World of Warcraft. No, no. actually, uh, this creature's physique is very much like the Urtree avatars in Elden Ring, so go fuck yourself. Uh... <laughs> Egg on uh, our faces. Creature's physique. As you yeah, we'll just pass on. this area, you see very close by this large hill. You can already see this opening kind of leading into the ground, uh, which you reckon is your stop. You have the map of the interior. Uh, venture in. Hell I would like yeah. to check the traps. Yeah, mm -hmm. make a make a cheeky investigation check. Twenty-seven. Oh me. Uh, as far as you can tell, there's not a single trap. As you are kind of at the entrance of the cave, you can hear sound of drops of water kind of falling down, kind of echoing. Throughout the entire uh, entirety of the tunnel, um, I have 170 single... feet of dark vision. Yeah, I was gonna say there's not a single so... source of light as far as you can see. But um, with the aid, with your dark vision and the aid of the map, I reckon you can only probably... a hundred, only 170 feet, <laughs> loser. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh... it's quite dark in here. Let me um, let me give everyone some uh, some vision here. Um. And I will do. Oh no! Oh, it's been a while. Sorry. And I'll cast eyes of night. Now everyone has for the next hour three hundred feet dark vision. Damn. Oh, I can see how I see. Oh. So now, with so you've given me three hundred feet of dark vision. Yes, sir. So now I think umbral umbral sight would still add thirty feet, and my goggles would add another twenty feet. I think oh. I have 350. Yeah, it does. Holy fuck, that's, that, that's, it, it does that's disgusting. Like that. That's so funny. <clears throat> but yeah, you, uh, you can see the entryway down into this tunnel. 
The only sound you hear is just the faint echoes of water kind of dripping down from stalactites and falling into these small little puddles that have been formed where these water drops keep falling. The air is still, not a single light source, and just a variety of tunnels through. As soon as you enter the tunnel, this cave, you can really immediately see that you can go straight ahead, which is also where the map directs you, but there are also paths left and right. And one thing you do notice on this map is that... I don't see these paths. Uh... On the map, but not on Tailspire. Yeah, on Tailspire, it's yeah, just no, room no, Tailspire, and hallway. Yeah, the map but, I sent but, but, the, the, yeah. On oh, the okay, map, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't... The I, I, I don't do dungeon delving on Tailspire, because it's whack and makes it way too fucking gamey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. got you, got you, got you. I see, I see. Um, but what you do notice from the map that you've been given is that pretty much every tunnel that isn't part of your main route seems to be a dead end. Does it look like it could be, could have been an old mine? I mean, that's... Um, Make a perception check. How mines be dug? Like, oh, there's no more shit here. Any strip mining? Here we go. Uh, perception 31. You look around and you don't see any traces of, of, of mining activity or, or whatever. There's not a single support beam throughout this entire first area. This seems a fully natural cave. And there's not a single piece of evidence that suggests that anyone has ever set foot here, let alone Dunham Cave. Does it look like it could have been dug out by like a creature or animal of these tunnels made as maybe, opposed to just formed naturally? maybe parts of it but not entirely okay okay and there's the there's water dripping through it yeah. and all sorts so yeah mm -hmm. uh as we sort of cross the threshold into the cave uh lozan sort of stands still for a, a meditative a mindful moment mm -hmm. takes a deep breath and i will use tireless to give myself 1d8 plus 3 temporary hit points. Nice. Yeah, I'll cast one of the new d, &D spells that I saw, which is really awful. What did you say? <laughs> there's, a, there's like a new 7th level spell that's like, just gives 150 temp HP to divvy out to people. And I'm like, wow. I mean, yours, like your aid, dome does that. You know the things I could do? Do you know what exactly. I could do with 150 temp HP? No, but it's like I divvy out to like up to seven people near me. But imagine yeah. I just give it to one person. Right. <laughs> yeah, me. I give it to myself. No, no. It's effectively 300 if you give it to me. No, but if I give it to me, right, because I feel better about it. And it's right. funny. Corey, it's but just... I can have the equivalent <clears throat> of 600 HP. That's crazy. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so, as you all can the threshold of this cave, you're immediately met with a choice. You can look left, you can look right. Um, with your insano fucking dark vision, you see that the left turn path immediately comes to a dead end. The right path seems to kind of bend. Uh, but at the end of the left path, you can see a lectern kind of standing against the wall, and there's this cage. Is there any, uh, or rather, are there? Hold on, you just said it seemed like no one's ever been in here, but there's a lectern? That is what I said. Is there any plant life? In this area, no. Is there anything on the lectern? You can see a, a single page. piece of parchment on top of the lectern. I should probably ask. That would be down um, we... your lectern. Are we exploring this place, or are we just going straight through? I mean, part of me wants to just, you know, get out of here. resistance, get back home, but I also feel like maybe there might be answers to... Look at a couple on the way? Is what he said true? Are we, you know, like, the this whole apparently fucking philosophical, metaphysical dilemma he's now fucking put us in. So I'm, I'm up for either... I also, I'm not gonna lie, there is a small part of me who is a little bit excited to get back to stuff like this because I've been stuck doing, I've been, I have been training preteens and teenagers for 15 years and doing a lot of administrative work and it feels kind of nice to stretch my legs again, I'm not gonna lie. 
I'll be honest, wherever, whenever I was plucked from, I'm not exactly the most prepared. So if there's if there are magical shields that can tell the history of this land in here, maybe there's a couple of potions lying around somewhere. Or uh, some spell scrolls. Uh, I wouldn't mind I've being thorough. I just can... come through a, <clears throat> you know, a big sort of fight, so I've Clearly. not got many items either. Perhaps we could start out going a bit more exploratory, but the minute it's starting to look at all dicey for any of us, I think we might have to curb that instinct and okay. focus on getting out of here and getting what he wants. We, we gather information, but we don't risk anything. Don't of, the, risk. of the three of you, uh, which one of you is like the least susceptible to getting the shit beat out of them? The least susceptible. I just raised my hand. Probably Kassara. I will toss a. I know it doesn't look like it. I'm aware I'm past my prime, but. I'll, I'll... Nobody said that. Don't be so hard. Oh, he said Brooks. it earlier, but Brooks, it's fine. You... We're friends. I, I get it. Oh, please. Leather toughens with time. Plus, he knows I can still kick his ass, and I will just like like pull my cloak aside and just briefly flex, and all of a sudden it's one of those deceptive like. At first, like, oh, she's lean toned, but then she flexes, and all of a sudden, Jesus Christ, muscles. Are Sleeper build. build. Yeah. <laughs> Brooks, do you seriously know the muscle Grammy? Yeah. Muscle Grandma, that's me right now. <laughs> Brooks, do you seriously know nothing about Gazera and like Morwen? Like the name and, rings uh, a fucking Lozen. bell, but like. <laughs> Yeah. Not the sort of thing that I would normally. I'd be read. like, you weren't in the histories I read. You weren't in the stories. Didn't read far. He was enough. literally in the book. The guy just picked up. I, I was yeah, going to say wasn't... I didn't meet him till later on. So but he it weren't in the just hey these point people save the in case people forgot. Lausanne never yeah. left the Heroes of Exile. Right? Like Duke left the guy. No. Yeah, he's doing stuff. No, just, yeah. it's not very much a member I know. of the if... Heroes of Exile. <clears> no, but but like in the in the in the like grand annuals of yeah the heroic in the. In the like, just that the heroic means. fights. And there, shit. there are no statues like, to Lozan. Yeah, I, I, right. Like, it's, yeah. Like, yeah. In he the, wasn't in the, the guild hall. He's not yeah, an right. like, member. Yeah, though. yeah. Like yeah. it's one of those ones where it's like, when you write about it, you don't write all oh, the admin team were here. You go, no, fucking, <laughs> these are the big boys who like killed the shit, right? <laughs> like um, that's when, a lot when, of when, when you know when Duke left that's the campaign, the Lozan yeah, just kind of got the role of. Guild Scout, and he was the yeah. Yeah. I mean, but, I mean, he before. still you, helped if, for like recovering yeah. the Chromosphere and shit, which the Chromosphere yeah. became rather important. Yeah, sure. again, you again, remember. again, that like, like probably wasn't mentioned much. No, again, again, Luzan, it was like the group found the Chromosphere, <laughs> and it's like not this other guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll toss Luzan I mean, a the story portion of greater right. healing. Uh, so oh, what, what was it that you also, um, Ethan? What did you say, Brooks gave or did oh, you say? Uh, so Brooks is gonna toss a basic potion of healing oh, okay. to Morwin and to Oh I'm good. Uh, I have Lozan. potions. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm good. I mean I've I'll got take potions for fighting Marcus, so <clears throat> let's well, let's if you've got um... plenty of potions, I'll I'll toss one to Kazarin. No. I know. I'll put it this no. way. If you don't know who I am, then I did my job well enough. Oh, there you go. It wasn't meant as a slight, by the way. It was meant as a you know. The way you say things sounds like a slight ninety percent of the time. A lot's that's, happened. Uh, that's just the uh, the privilege in his voice. You, oh, raised rich was he? Again, I mean, look at like... him. I mean, you say look at him. This is probably the most haggard around has ever looked <laughs> like ever. Like this yeah, man. Yeah, but is you those not... coins are still fucking clean. Actually, <laughs> not all are. of the. No, a lot of the coins he has nowadays. Are still That's covered true. in blood. No, covered in the blood of his friends. Yeah. No, actually, no. Uh, I just remembered. I just remembered the important detail where yeah, Valor still cleans all the fucking coins. So, like, yeah. Yeah. These even coins, in the dragon's hoard, they were fucking spotless. Shiny. Yeah. So, like, God, I've got a lot of money on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like, <laughs> but I have like four hidden pouches. You can still see there's like a big, there's like a big just bulge bulging. just in, yeah. in. No, but like. All this money's gone to one pouch, and it's just in the bag, like in my bag. And you just see this like normal bag, massive bulge, where like shit. <laughs> it's just it's like rattling somewhere every underneath time. It's the like... big ass fucking book. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's just like <laughs> next to like all it just sounds my bag. like a bucket of nails in his backpack. Realistically, no, it's not like one of those charity buckets, you know, that like have just coins in them. It's just yeah. that's that's my bag right now. I'm like, Two. Yeah. What's, uh, Instinctively what's the taking the lead. Am I able to read yeah. the paper? 
Well, if you oh yeah, the pouch. I don't, I don't want to touch it. Oh, but that is at the end of like the, the first look. tunnel to your left. Like you can see that because yeah. you have 300 feet of yeah, we'll go that way. now. You would have to yeah. venture in. But you know. I'll instinctively middle myself at all times. So you're just taking the first like you know, just going from like your POV. Yeah. You're taking your first left. Yeah. Going yes. north. Yeah. King of the um, north. Yeah. So this tunnel leads to a dead end, and at the end of this tunnel you find a lectern with on it a single piece of parchment. And there is text written. In common. In... Oh. oh, yeah, I'll read it. I don't want to touch it, though. Upon Just arriving it. at the entrance to the cave that supposedly led to the Underdark, our newfound heroes were ambushed by an abominable yeti. The party of adventurers fought hard, but it was the young drow ranger that managed to take the monster down by a well-aimed shot with his bow, driving an arrow directly into the eyes. The yeti That's me. to collapse. See? And you Remember? said you'd never heard of him. Look at that. Right and upon there. finishing reading this entry, you suddenly hear a gust of wind, and snow begins to magically cover the lectern. Oh, what? oh snow, shit. Oh, playing our greatest hits, boys. It's, it's a small the greatest hits album. casket apparates in no. front of the lectern, and inside it you find a book. The Heroes of Exile Saga, oh. The Chromosphere. Chapter one. See, now this is the... I, yeah. This is not going to help the migraine, but it is what we were... I mean, we said we wanted, we were hoping to get more information, not the information. We already know our stories. I want to... Take, take a world. look. It's in a, a book. book. <laughs> Reading rainbow. I don't remember having my library card. I was uh, hoping to find information about their fucking republic or whatever. But oh well. Uh, what just glance at it. Does it look pretty accurate? This is a one-on-one -on -one telling of like, exactly how it happened. Oh, shit. This I opens uh, up to twitch.tv forward slash wherever the fuck we <laughs> yeah. started. This, uh, no, like, you, you, this book is, 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 bro. Yeah. Isn't, very, isn't very big, um, but it tells the entire story of the Heroes of Exile from the moment they were summoned by Archmage Brassbend up until retrieving the Chromosphere. Okay. Archmage Brassbend. <laughs> Mark Page Brassbend. <clears throat> oh, yeah. And then we will turn on our heels, mm -hmm. full of existential doubt, <laughs> and go south. I have no doubt. I've read this book before. <laughs> yep. Um, this tunnel, past the bend, also reveals a dead end. And at the end of this tunnel sits another lectern, and on it, another piece of parchment. It was a time That's... of celebration in the city. New land, new opportunities, and so thought the people attending this rally. Unknown to them at oh. the time was that their fates would be intertwined from the moment they attended this event. An important figure holds a speech. Suddenly, a thump can be heard. She collapses. An attempted assassination. Suddenly, panic. People start screaming, running all over. But not this group of people. They begin searching for the location of the shots. Their first time meeting, a tumble down a well, fighting a large insectoid under the city, <laughs> uncovering plans of Yuan Ti, planning an invasion of the city. And as you finish reading, the echo of, of mandibles clicking travels through the tunnel, Suddenly, yeah. another casket appears, and inside it, another book. The Elemental Guardians, a forked tongued invasion. Elemental Guardians. I prefer ragtag fuckwits. I'll be honest, of the two, I do also prefer ragtag fuckwits, but I don't particularly like either name, but here we are. Book's got a sell, man, and ragtag fuckwits is not oh, a yeah, title, exactly. it's not a, you know, it's not a name, a lot of books it's, it's not family it. friendly! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just CPM's imagining the, like, in the family friendly retelling, Brooks never speaks. Yeah! <laughs> And like in the the census version, Brooke's character is like just taken out somehow, and he's just. <laughs> I mean, one of Davian's first lines. He is, doesn't blow himself up with a grenade. In here. It's just confetti. A cat in here. It's true. <laughs> I've broken me ass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like most of our first lines are like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> I had to include the time. Uh, well, you know, I had to. I had to I, broken I really ass, man. To go back and find out like what everyone's first like line was. We appear to have oh, uh, stepped into the lair of some some kind of Heroes of Exile superfan. Uh, what? Assuming, of course, you're the Heroes of Exile Junior, or like, something slightly less cool. But I, I don't see any other like way to Like version 0.5? No, so... Like, ah... Oh. It's like we, a sequel, you know. The sequel's never as good. We're, that's that's we're true. Like you guys. Dude, that's we're, not true. I've seen I've seen some good sequels that better the original. Name five. Bad boys. Okay. <laughs> Bad boys. Bad boys. Aliens. <laughs> Aliens. 
Uh, okay, uh, fucking lie. The by the way, Alien is better than Alien. Fuck alien vs Predator. Alien vs Predator Two. <laughs> Track Two. Uh, this is another dead end. Kung Fu Panda Two. Fast and Furious Nine. Well, <laughs> seeing seeing how this is gonna go, um, we will we'll go to the north and at the fork go left. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like, like, once you like, kind like, of follow the, the path intended to you, you get to another, uh... Like this, this is a larger chamber. Before yeah. you even get to make a choice, to, take, to choose a path, um, you see in front of you a figure standing still, almost dormant. Mm -hmm. Human male with brown long hair, two, re two very distinctive brown eyes. He turns to face you. And you see him holding a platinum blonde haired blue eyed elf wearing green robes. He withdraws the blade from this person's chest, dropping him to the ground, uh. and then faces the party. And he specifically looks at Lausanne and Kasserin. Is it supposed to be like Gen as Matthias? Like the blonde guy? No. Which is no? no. Fucking Ash. Oh, it's. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Did, I can't yeah. believe you guys didn't pick up on that. <laughs> no, I did. It's Ash. I was doing this the is the fate we had in store for you. You and all your heroes of exile watered our plans, but it seems fate shines on me favorably, giving me a second chance to avenge myself and my fellow council members. As this is seemingly uh, Grayson Miller, your first like big bad guy, person that killed Ash. Yep. That Ash did like a hundred and something damage to him in a single turn, and then he <laughs> yep. fucking killed him. Not meant to fight him. <laughs> a roll initiative, please. Uh, oh, here we uh, fucking go! It really is a greatest hit. Yeah. Dude, you know I... what's amazing about playing Mormon again? I have a plus eight to my initiative. I also have a plus eight to my initiative. That's what not I said about um... this one It's gonna be a nice little trip down memory lane. And I, I wasn't lying. Memory lane? Literally. Um, fuck! Yeah. A well, nice trip is fucking... relative. You might You're be fucking... playing Morwin, but the Jax rolls are here. That's fucking... I, my Jax rolls are not here, bro. I'm chilling. After last week, oh. I rolled like... Eight or nine nat ones. I'm, I'm I mean, going last oh, unless right. someone nat ones. I rolled good for once for initiative. What's upsetting is I don't have vigilant blessing because the door I didn't use it. Why would oh, I? That's silly. It, Why didn't you just write that into the book? Um, twenty plus anyone? Uh, twenty-three. Sure. Fifteen to twenty. <laughs> Stop. Uh, seventeen. Eighteen. So eighteen for Lausanne. 17 for Kasarin? Yes. Did I hear 16 too, or am I crazy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I rolled a 16. Yeah, <laughs> what did you roll, uh, Eat? I got a 6. A 6. Impressive. Morvin, I got a... you get to go first. You can see a in this six. chamber, you can see this, this, this individual, the limp body of this elf still right beside him, blood dripping off his blade, and he looks at your group, and there is just this this fire burning behind it. Hmm. Uh, humanoid, correct? Yes. Morbid's just gonna lazily flick her hand, cast hold person. Okay. So I need a wisdom save. Uh, 19. That's my save. <laughs> I think, wait. Oh. oh? If only you had silvery barbs. I might have something far back. Where's Jax when you need him? I can't cast it in the same turns. True. Um. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the thing that. Sorry, I haven't played with Morwen in a long time. I know there's like. I think if I'm. It might. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. That's... Um, I'll move. How big is this chamber? Uh, it's on top, top of the No fire, mate. It... Wait. Oh. Uh, I have nowhere to move. Uh, no, you can move. Uh... You can move through your allies. Okay. Um, yeah, let's they go. Can, they can squeeze. I'll go right over there. It's my turn. Lausanne. 
Okay, uh, I will you uh, as a bonus action. I'll use Nature's Veil to go invisible. Oh. Uh, and then wait, I can get past yeah, yeah, yeah. the homies, right? And I'll just scut around the outside. Wait, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, sure. Uh, and I will attack with my bow. Mm -hmm. Now, because I'm attacking from invisibility, mm -hmm. do I have advantage? Sorry? Mm -hmm. Because I'm attacking from invisibility, do I have advantage? Yes. Okay. So, at least for the first attack. Okay, well, the good thing is... Mm -hmm. Uh, because of... Where is it? Elven accuracy. I can re-roll one of the dice from my advantage. Let's go. <laughs> Which made it from like a 2 to a 19. Oh, so go. that's 31 <laughs> yeah. to hit. Yes. Mm. Uh, -huh. uh, for 1d8 plus 7... Oh. So that's eight points of damage. Gross. Yeah. I will then, using Dread Ambusher, get another attack. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Which is a 16 to hit. It's. Bam. For 14 points of damage. 14 points. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh. Uh, Dread Ambush gives me another D8. For me? So, four, 14 plus 6, so 20 points of damage. And then I'll have my other attack. Mm -hmm. Which is a natural one. Okay, very good. <laughs> but <coughs> wait, hold on. I definitely wait. I definitely have something. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Stalker's flurry. When I miss with a weapon attack, I can make another weapon attack as part of the same action. What so, the fuck? <laughs> uh, which is a nineteen to hit. That hits. For 13 points of damage. Okay. You can see with uh, every arrow that kind of just thumps its way into uh, this person's body, you can see this being, although looking very much real, the more and more blows he takes, his image almost seems to distort a little yeah. bit. In, in my mind, like, yeah. at, at a higher level, Lozan is basically, like, fucking Sylvanas at this point. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he just disappears and then reappears in a flurry of, like, dark wreathed arrows, it's like, flying out of the corner of the cave. Just like, do, do, do. All right. Are you turn? Yeah. All right. Sarah. Okay. Uh, the tail is like your uh, what is my movement speed? It's normal. Okay. Uh, these are five feet squares in Tailspire. Five. Yeah, you sound so bored. <laughs> I, I move 30 feet? Gross. I, I miss feline agility, okay? It was a good time. I know that I need to move more than 30 feet. So yeah, I'll go up to uh, the dude and start doing fancy, fancy sword things. I completely forgot I to <gasps> swap to the combat scene. I get extra what the hell? D20. I thought I did, but I didn't. Because I have three attacks now. All right. Uh... That's my modifier. Jesus Christ. Okay, that is uh, a 24 and two 29s to hit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the first one... Where's my D... Uh, we'll be doing this two-handed. Why not? 
Um, so on the first attack, that is uh, 11 points of slashing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm just making sure this has a cruel wound feature. If it's only on a crit. Okay, it's fine. So yeah, 11 for the first one. Oh, I rolled... Wait. I do have a thing. I can re-roll these. Hold on. No, it's re-roll a saving throw, not re-roll damage things. All right. Uh, eight points on the second one. Mm -hmm. And then on the third one, I'm going to try and make it a trip attack. And I have to announce that before I... I don't have to announce it before I roll, actually. I could have... Oh, well. I'll still try. So... The expend one of my superiority die, which, uh, what are my superiority dice assembled? They're d10s as well. Okay. Add to the total damage roll. So 5 plus 7 plus superiority die, 12 plus 8. So 20, 20 points on the final attack, and he has to make a strength save. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15. Fails, so he is prone. So yeah, I just uh, run forward and do some like how much demon damage slayer was that for your last attack? Slash twenty points. So as you push him prone with your scimitar, correct? My merfolk blade, which is a which is scimitar. Uh, it is it's a long sword. Yeah, but I think in vibe book, I think we in vibe would, yes to be like a scimitar esque <laughs> type thing. It's a long blade with a blue hilt, curves and edges etched along the blade, and a silver wave decal on the handle. And you carve down Rayson. He falls to the ground, prone. And kind of, you can see one last look at you. And his body and that of Ash disintegrate. Leaving behind in his wake. Another book. That was quick. Again, they're the early days of our campaign. They're going to ramp, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'll, I'll look at Brooks in this moment, and like it all. So you like, watch the two of us just boom. boom. If if like I'm if out. Brooks looks over, it is like a look of kind of awe that Eleven has on his face because he's like, wow. <laughs> he's like, here's a Mexican. Next, right? like annoyed that he didn't get to join it. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't care about that, but he's like, whoa, I saw the hero himself like, fight. Oh my God, it's the people that I read about as a kid. Judge a fan. Halfway to putting his boy. knuckle duster on, it's just like. Ah. Oh. Can I look to fanboy? Is a Lazarus. Like. <laughs> yeah, there's another book uh, that he leaves behind. And the book is called uh, Do -do -do -do, The Heroes of Exile Saga, Council of Eskil. Go ahead and read it for nostalgia. Also, because Dutch put time into, I'm sure, writing things on these pages, so I want to someone to read them. Uh, well, no, this is just a book. There, this is just a book oh, that okay, tells okay. basically the story of the Hills of Exile. Story. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Uh, you know, learning who all of the council members are, uh, yeah. where their bases are located, and kind of you guys setting up your plan to kind of taking the fight to each and every one. Whereas, obviously, your your Grayson gotcha. was the first of those council members that you <clears throat> met. Perhaps a little too oh. soon. <laughs> well, no, you meet him soon. All. You took the fight to him too soon. Coco. Uh, <laughs> I should have did a pretty good job, bro. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think we go to one. But yeah, now that that is dealt with, you do have several options for you to choose. Uh, where, where are we going? No. On the map. Well, no, we are already went north in that big open room, and now there's another fork off that. Like, well, this no, encounter the, the, the big open that... room is where this fight just happened. Yeah, so yeah. we have so a we choice, have then. A fork. So left first, naturally. Left, yeah. Okay. yeah. But right is right. Um, left is left. This tunnel is yet another dead end, but the walls seem to be decorated with murals of a vibrant forest. And at the center stands another lectern with on its page. A vibrant forest? Yes. Something I'll go ahead and read the page this time. Almost whispering woods as Or it's the jungles. Trimella? Or they say jungles instead of forests, yeah. I guess, yeah. The page reads, Bravo. Sadly, the life of adventure comes with its fair share of risk. Unfortunately for our group of heroes, tragedy had struck. 
as they now find themselves in the heart oh. of the Feywild, laying their friend Neron oh. to rest. Time passes, oh. and tears are shed, oh. but as is the life they live, there isn't time to wallow. They have a job to do. And upon reading a Lazarus the like, Yo, page, can relate. another yeah. book appears. <laughs> uh, the Heroes of Exile Saga, A Death in the Fat. What? Does anything happen if I take the page off the lectern? Episode 69. No. I take it off the lectern and I just like <clears throat> shove it to Alastrin's chest. <laughs> you might want to keep hold of this. You could learn a thing or two. Thanks. Okay, that I'll was put a it <clears throat> And I'll put it, I'll take out the big old book I've got. <laughs> just put it in one of the papers. It's like. Oh! When he does that, that's when I'll be like, oh, put this in there too. And it's that paper that says, like, Morwen can help your friend in case <clears> we, for <throat> we forget all this when we go back. So I'll say, put this with that. Okay. <laughs> A little insensitive. I must be going soft in my old age. <laughs> it's funny. I guess we'll check out the other prong on that path. Okay. Um, yeah. This is a shorter tunnel and leads to a small alcove. Inside this alcove, you can see a cage, and inside this cage stands a. We don't have to pick. A cage. Is this? Is this, what, oh, this, is is this, this someone's what I think like? This is. Clearly, the party one of y'all's infiltrated the fort, taking out the Nightweb oh. cultists and fought their way to the dungeon, where in, when inside they were met by an orange-skinned tiefling. Elazarin looks at him with happiness and relief. Valor was still alive, oh. not to get him out of there safely. A whole nother task. And a book app. Oh, that's rude. The Elemental Guardians, the Nightweb Infestation. Oh, that's fucking rude. I get that no. page. That mm. page. Uh, it's in a cage, you said. Can we get to it? Can yeah, I? The, can the, I? The cage yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Despite all I, the rage, it's I will... a page in a cage. Exactly. <laughs> Rim by Sage. Um, I will pick up that page and I'm going to rip it up. A lot. Like... Understandable. <laughs> like... Understandable. Like, just has a, a very short mini breakdown, and then back to normal. <laughs> finds, so like, that like also, like, op opens up the book, finds, like, towards the end, any, like, mention of a saving, like, Valor's just cutting through it with his, the fucking dragon bone cleaver. Just... <laughs> okay. <sighs> um... And I, like, I'll stop doing that, look back, I'm like, Oh, yes, let's continue on. Brooks, is this normal? No, but... It's... Well, I mean, you've apparently been gone for a while. Re Maybe it's realistically, normal. Realistically, all of the possibilities right now are bad. Oh, I forgot but to yeah. say Brooks as well. <laughs> oh, no. What now? So... You were also dead? No, but <laughs> Valor was bricks off this whole time. As in, like, ever since I was a child. You know, that father figure I had was a manipulative green dragon, so you know what uh, just... <laughs> any anyway, let's go. Any before of, like, the judgment, like, that might have been played on Kisera's face is gone, and there's a genuine just look like... Like, like, it's, like sad empathy move for... Suffering the character has <laughs> ended. <laughs> I mean... My dad has a history of taking in strays, so... I don't need a new dad. I've got one. He's dying somewhere. <laughs> um. No, that's Kes's stick. You might want mad, remember? Oh, yeah, true. Maybe if uh, the Barbarian plans on hanging around with you a bit more, you could call yourselves the, the Daddy Issues gang. I don't know. Who, who said I had Daddy Issues? Have you... Have you tried not being a snarky asshole for like a minute? Like I'm just saying. Read the it's room. It's really dude. Read the room, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I I know you're having a rough time of it, but I'm going on the off chance that either A, none of this is real, or B, we won't remember it, so I will say the juxtaposition is very enjoyable. The drunken barbarian being contemplative and existential, while the esteemed uh Cleric uh, screams and rages and chops up paper. It's with, almost as uh, if you guys axe. wrote it together. No? Like, it actually was a story? 
Maybe we are. No, sorry. actually, I changed my mind. I agree with Lazarin. You're you're a snarky asshole. God, we must be well, somewhere that's not real. He, Brooks just agreed with me. If it makes you guys feel any better, my hometown's a lava pit. Yeah, that's a real. That shame. must have been an awkward experience growing up. No, not that. Do you really know nothing about what happened with the Heroes X outbreak? Like, what, where have you been? I don't read history books. I only read like fucking smart. Like, on? That no, was self-evident. No, no. Shall we move on? No, no. I read fantasy books as well. That uh, uh, also just put. <laughs> no. Well, how fitting since that's from whence we came. I'm just gonna start going. Yeah. What, yeah. You came from. You came from a smart book. He wishes. It's turn. A lot happened after I left. <laughs> oh, true. That's a lot true. of a lot of masturbation. Makes for a hell of a good read, though. I mean, I'd read it. Got, hey, got it might be a little weird because I know you, but I would just, you know, wall in my head, pretend you're a fictional character. I'm uh, well, just I am. Reading about did, did you forget? Voice. We both are. Pretend you're a second fictional character. God, can we not migrate? Migrate. Trying to avoid. Please. Other tunnel. Follow Morwen. Let's go. <clears throat> uh, follow Morwen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I walked off. Yeah, Morwen oh, already okay. walked Morwen. Morwen. Let's go. Okay, so where are you headed? So you're now you're... The other fork. Uh, the, the other fork, right? The tunnel directly opposite of it. We've done the two okay. forks, so now we're going back Oh, yeah. Into the yeah, yeah, yeah. The one one fork honest, was... I, yeah, and the I other fork. I am so yeah. fucking lost to actually where we are on I'm the map. Keeping oh. I'm keeping <laughs> track. I'm keeping track where we are. On the map... Yep. We're now going into... Okay. Here, I'm drawing on it. If I'm we're sorry. if we're walking down the thing, we're going down the second right off yeah. the main tunnel, the little yeah. wiener. Little wiener. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this tunnel. I love the bits of you shit in my head. <laughs> also, looks a little different than the rest. Uh, you can see shelves with boxes neatly stacked, labeled with what's inside: potions, ingredients, spell components, general goods. This almost seems like some kind of supply room. And in this room stands another lectern, yet another page. Let's read the page. Upon infiltrating the trade read. company, the party found themselves searching for clues of potential betrayal. Instead, they found nothing of the sort. Seemingly, there is a traitor somewhere in Alulon, but it is not the Primus. Who is it? We'll soon find out. And then suddenly, one of the boxes uh, falls to the ground. Uh, of the shelves, and inside there's another book. The Elemental Guardians, Traitor, and Eldian. Oh, <clears throat> I was, I was, I would share screen, and you could see me drawing on it real time. Don't fuck up all the cams. Well, fuck so up I the cams. <laughs> yep. Yeah, all right, fuck so them we'll all up. Go back and keep to our pattern. Mm -hmm. Basically, we always do the northern tunnels first, and then we do the southern tunnels, and we're doing this fairly yeah. systematically. Yeah, just going. So we're now doing that northern tunnel that kind of then has like a circle on the west side. Okay, so you keep venturing down through the tunnel system, systematically going everywhere as the map that the map shows you there is. Um, yes. And in this room, as you enter it, you're suddenly met by feeling of old wind and you can hear the crackle of lightning kind of spark through the room as suddenly in front of you apparates a giant blue dragon and as the dragon apparates the room grows bigger and bigger larger than life you may have killed me once but i will not let tiamat down again I shall have my vengeance and prove that Death Jaw is the superior general. Go on, Steve. Oh boy. Do have a map for this? No. Uh, it's the, the, same, the, the same map as we were just on. Oh, okay. nice. Oh, yeah. We, we Boss can, Rush. We reuse this shit because I didn't really feel Yo, like... what are we doing? The fucking. This room will be very I wanna, small for I want a vision <laughs> blessing to myself at this point. Oh, bless us. And, Yo, um, do dragons have true sight? Yep. Some do. Uh, oh. Some do, some don't. Depend on the dragon. Yeah. The ones we fought have. Why can't I think of what the fucking... In Twilight Princess, there was like... There's a boss rush you could do, and I can't remember... Or like, room rush thing you could do, and I can't remember what the fuck it's called. It's <laughs> pissing me off. 
I don't remember either. You do like a hundred rooms or some shit, and you get like a hard container out of it. It's fine to stick a bunch of monsters. Initiatives. That was just dungeon rush. Or more. I got a dirty twenty. I also got a dirty twenty. Your dex is probably higher. I have a dirty twenty as well. Mine's only a sixteen. Mine's a sixteen. So we're rolling. Mine's also sixteen. Rollies. Oh, we have three-way rollies. Oh, I rolled a fifteen for the rollies. I rolled an eleven. I rolled a 13. I go first. Oh, fuck. Uh, Lausanne, last roll. I got a 26. Oop. Oh, never mind. You I don't, don't go, go first. first. I do not go first. I uh, I got a, an 11. Yeah. No, I like 13. I can't have it. Yeah. All right. So you now stand before Deathjaw. For the two of you that are, you know, from, from current campaign, um... It has not been too long since you last fought him, and you remember the fight to be extremely difficult. I'm terrified. This seems like def definitely like a step up compared to fighting that one guy just a few rooms before. Oh, it's exponential. Uh, Lausanne. I will... Uh, uh, uh... Cast Hunter's Mark! And then I will shoot him. Where is that? Natural 20. Oh my good god. Okay. On the first attack of the turn, which means that it's a... So it's 2d8. So 16. Plus another d8. Plus seven. Oh, fuck off. 17, 24. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, 24 points of damage. Total? Oh, I didn't. Uh, Hunter's Mark. Oh. That is also. So, 24 plus six to 30 plus another d6. 35 points of damage. Okay. Damn. Very good. Uh, and then the, I will attack again. Same deal. You, you fire your first shot, and you can see it impacting with the dragon, kind of like piercing between its scales, and it just kind of snaps at you. But his attention very much seems to be... Like, his eyes are locked, looking towards the Lazarin, uh, specifically. That was a nat 20 on my James and Laura dice, by the way. Shout Let's out. Fucking go. I've been rolling our wedding dice. It's been rolling really well for me today, so... <coughs> 15 to hit. does not 15 get rolled. Misses. It sits on its little plinth. <laughs> I will re-roll, because I get my gamer. Mm -hmm. So, 31. That hits. Plus a d8 and a d6. So, yeah. Oh, it just rolled max damage. 21 points of damage. Okay. And then my last chance, attack. Yeah? Uh, Yes. Both bow. Very good. Both bow. Right. And the yes. last attack is a 19 to hit. Misses. Okay. Which you I can't. Fire know, your last arrow and you not can that see busted. With his with his tail just kind of twacks it out of midair. It, the arrow just kind of just ding, ding, ding. as you can hear the metal of the arrow just kind of bounce over the rocky floor. Okay. Um. Sorry, first turn. Walking speed increased by 10 feet. If you take attack action, you can make one additional weapon attack action. You can attack twice. Yeah. If you miss, you can make another weapon attack. Okay. That's, that's everything I can do in terms of action. And I'm gonna fuck off. Fire him. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. That's my turn. Alright. Saren. Um, before, as I get ready to move, before I do, you'll see um, a circlet on her head that Lausanne, you won't recognize as something she used to wear, uh, begin to glow. And an homage to her fiery husband shall use her circlet of blasting to send some scorching rays uh, at the dragon. 
Hell yeah. So, uh, that is, this one is cocked. I'll have to re-roll you. One of them is a 17 to hit. One of them's only a 13. Miss. And the other one is a 21. So this is. What? Oh, gross. Okay. Then, um, what's the 10, 15, 20. Then we'll go ahead and action surge. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And make it sword attacks this time. <clears throat> much more likely to hit much better modifiers. Uh, oh, oh, yes. One, one's a 30, one's a 29, and one is a nat 20, which means my merfolk blade does its cruel wounds. Damn. Okay, All so, that so let's fucking, I'll do let's the non, it. yeah, the non crits first. Also, let's make sure I use up my action surge. Blah blah. Okay, um, so the first regular one uh, is sixteen points of slashing. Mm -hmm. The next one is fourteen points, mm -hmm. and now the crit does. 26 points of slashing and he now has a bleeding wound at the start of his turn for one minute or until they are healed he suffers 1d4 necrotic damage uh is that your turn yes okay because he is going to re reply with a legendary action oh, as he is he? going to try and fail attack you mm -hmm. for a 32 to hit? Uh, definitely hits. I will use my reaction and one of my superiority dice to parry and mitigate some of the damage. Because okay. it's when a creature damages you with a melee attack. Okay. So I reduce the damage. Oh, I didn't roll great. It'll be 8 points less. Okay. Whatever he uh, does. You would have taken 17 points of bludgeoning damage, but instead okay. you take 9. 9, cool. Right, Brooks. This uh, hello, death jaw still being pretty fresh on your mind. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty fucking terrifying. Wondering uh, that it was a very rough fight. You. Uh, remembering that it was a fucking rough fight, I'm gonna rage. Hmm? I'm gonna uh, charge in like a fool. Um, don't say good. That makes me question every decision I've ever made. Good. Good. I'm gonna you s tell your DM that you're gonna do something. They go good. But that doesn't feel like a trap at all. Mm -hmm. uh, how large is uh, Death Joe? Fucking gargantuan. Plus, I'm assuming huge. Oh, way bigger. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna start pummeling the motherfucker. In genuine size in D&D. What it is? Yeah, isn't it for like Tarasks? And ancient and dragons. dragons. Ancient dragons are also very much gargantuan. And anything <clears throat> larger than 20 by 20 feet. Jesus Christ. My penis. Oh, you wish. That's tiny. <laughs> tiny beast. Tiny fey. When I said That's 20 by me. 20 feet, I didn't mean a fucking millipede, mate. Any evolution. Mm -hmm. But um Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm gonna I'm <laughs> gonna hit the motherfucker. What? Yes. Now That's tiny a... is two two and a half That's by two and a half. Twelve. Feet. Just saying. I don't know what's small and tiny, so. How much did you roll, sorry? I'm assuming a twelve doesn't hit. No. No. I'm assuming an eleven also doesn't hit. No, it doesn't. Yikes. Can you roll better? Thanks. <laughs> I missed you Man. guys. We are showing you up right now. <laughs> I was going to say, here's what's making y'all look like shit. All right. Um, I mean, what do you want me to do? The dice told me to go fuck myself. Hit! Is that your turn, Ethan? I rolled a three and a two, Duke. Yes, that's my turn. Yeah, roll better. He's what do you lose. want me to do? Land an attack, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's going to use another legendary action to make a tail attack against you this time. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Boy. Sorry, 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. See, that's what you should be doing. What, hitting? 
Yeah. Uh, you take 19, so half to 9 points of bludgeoning damage. Raging. Oof. Orwin. I mean, I want to hit him with... <sighs> Yeah, fuck it. Let's go ahead and throw this. Um, <laughs> just kind of hold out staff and shoot a raven feeble man at him. Okay. Ooh, spicy. Save Do I need to roll? Nope. Oh, need to roll. Uh, does oh, a thirty right. hit? Hits. And then it's a save. Right. Sick. If it hits, it's not. Is it? Yep. No, the there's no save. Ra raven feeble man is a hit to hit and then a save. Which certain. No. Uh, at the each of end of its target's turns, it can make a con save. Ooh. You don't get a con save yeah, until okay. it's its so turn. Uh, on a hit, the target doesn't yeah. have damage. With so now it attacks. does half damage for anything that uses strength. Uh, so all of its with, attacks are yeah, with weapon attacks that use strength. Yeah. With weapon attack. Fuck! Why don't I read my spells, dude? <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you this, Wait, this it, opportunity to retcon it. Uh, very much yeah. would apply to this dragon. Uh, not really any weapon claws attacks. Are weapon. Aren't his claws weapons, though? Yeah, what the hell? And its tail, wouldn't they be considered weapons? Am I crazy? If its claws and tail were weapons, then when you use something like, um... Okay, no, uh, technically, yeah. they what, are... What, are they gonna just fall off? They are considered melee weapon attacks. Or yeah. So, okay, yeah, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, I yeah. might be crazy, but... You're good, you're good. So, yeah, it does, it yeah. work. And I'll just, uh... It's my turn. Right. Last low. Now, carrying hmm. the visage of his fallen fellow general. It's you that has the green. green yeah, it's just visage, a, right? it's like attached to my bag. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm going in, and I will cast holy weapon. Ooh. No, I'm just gonna fucking swang. Swang that thing. Swang that thing, baby. Uh, that's a dirty 20 to hit. This is... Yep. Oh, that's my turn. Oh. Alright. Because you don't have two attack. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Death Jaw opens his mouth. His lightning begins to collect. This fire is this 10 foot wide, 120 foot long oh, beam no, no. straight ahead of just pure... Electricity. That's gonna oh, hit me. Dear. So mm -hmm. I need uh, Brooks, Kisaran, and Ozan to make dexterity save. How 30, wide? 30, how wide 30. is that thing? Ten. How many Ten feet? feet? Ten feet. Yeah. So he's aiming it to get me and Brooks. Boom! Yeah, how wide is that thing? Straight out. Straight, straight uh, in front. This is an effect I can see, right? No. Sure. Can you see a breath? Hell yeah. I mean, is this a plant? That's why I'm asking the DM because I don't know whether there's a. Ch I don't know whether this move is telegraph. Okay. I mean, it is. I rolled a nineteen. Fail. I'm gonna use my indomitable uh feature. I can re-roll a saving throw nice. that I fail, and I must use the new roll. It's way worse. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <You> fail. <laughs> I fail. Uh, Lausanne. Uh, rolls are back, boys. Lower than that. Yep, there we go. I've okay. used up the good ones. 24. You take half damage. No, I don't. I have evasion. This is gonna hurt. Okay. I takes no I damage. Did nothing. Uh, hold on while I grab all my dice. Oh, no, no, no. You you don't need to roll them all. It's fine. Speed it up. You, you just roll guys. one. Four more dice. How many times by the amount? Is Saren about to hit like the YouTuber outro? She gets obliterated. I don't see. No, it's a six. Uh, uh, <laughs> is Saren and oh, no. Lausanne? I'm not ready. Both mm. take 70 points of lightning damage. Seven zero? Ouch. Yes. Ouch. Jeez. That hurts. None of the That's rough. And I have to roll a concentration check with a... DC 35. DC 35. DC 35. 
Yeah, it's match, was funny. match was funny. I'll give it. To, I'll, I'll give you it. You know, Monkhood Barbarian <laughs> doesn't work as a multi class, guys. I rolled a nineteen, man. Oh. Fuck. The dice really told you that. They but were you have a plus sixteen to your save, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, is that hunter's mark gone? <laughs> yes, the hunter's mark is gone. Right. Um, hunter's mark. And immediately, like compared to the last fight, uh, the, 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 the this has scaled up. So that is now your turn. Really? Didn't even notice. Wait, whose turn? My turn. Yours. Yeah. My turn. Hmm? Oh, can I, I get? Have to, I have to fix oh, something on my oh. sheet wait, real quick. Touch. Also, huh? it's a big deal, but very quickly, he takes two whole points of necrotic damage because of the cruel, the bleeding wound at the start of okay. his turn. I missed it before. Uh, con save. He also gets to roll his con save. Yeah. yeah. Uh, roll a seven, but I'm just going to use legendary resistance to make it anyway. Fuck Actually, you, kind. Okay. I'm going to. Uh. 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 Shit. Don't forget, okay. you've got a basic potion of healing if you need it. If I were to hold on. Fuck. So annoying. So annoying. Um. Shit. You know? Yeah. And do know. I don't know. I'm gonna cast. Oh, this is such a shit. A shit, shitty shit. <laughs> shit, shitty shit. Capital shitty. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. I don't I'm know. Confused. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm a little baby. Shoot it, lol. I wear a diaper. I'm Ranger Man. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Shocker. Yeah, the thing is, I've got these spells, but there's these two fucking... Goons in the way that it will be affected by. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot it. That's why I haven't used uh, my either. First attack is a 17 to hit. Yes. No, I'm lying. Oh. It's a 17 on the die, so it's a 29 to hit. Yes. And I will use a charge of favored foe to add a d6. So, oops. Uh, th uh, three plus seven is ten plus one, eleven points of damage. Good. Is, is and then I'll okay? shoot it again. Yeah, I'm good. I'm okay, just think thunking. Just think thunking. Uh, man. does does an eighteen hit? No. Yeah, I'll just reroll that real quick. It's worse. <laughs> uh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, how much movement do I have? Ooh. 35 feet. <laughs> yeah. That's a vibe. Alright, that's my turn. Funny one. Uh, Kassarin. I will first, bonus action, second wind. Because ouchie. And we'll flavor it. Oh, that's so sad. Um, I rolled a one, but I will flavor it a little more Ganassi esque, where you see her with one hand almost just do kind of a gesture like this and like call some of the water that's around the cave and like very like Avatar the Last Airbender. It's like the water is kind of like what's healing her mm -hmm. for her second wind. But I only regained 14 hit points because I rolled like S, but it's better than nothing. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll attack some more. Go on. 
Bang, bang, bang. That's not a d20, that's a d12. Let's roll a d20. Ah! There we go. Uh, 22, 19, it's... and 17. So only the 22, only 22 hits. hits just. Mm-hmm. Uh, for 11 more points of slashing. Yep. I'm gonna move over here. I'm not leaving his melee, so. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure I don't want to do any maneuvers. Um. Because I don't want to make him focus on me. I don't think that's... No. Yeah, I'll save my superiority dice for now. I'm not going to do anything else. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, he's going to use legendary action. For a wing is. attack. Everyone within 15 feet of it. So that is Laszlo, Brooks, and Saren. You need to make a dexterity mm -hmm. saving throw. Okay. 22. Wait, do, I, do I need to add... Natural 20! Damn! Brooks, you have advantage. It, it genuinely is just every video game boss ever and me going, is this telegraphed? So 25. 25? Okay, so you pass. Kassarin, uh passes. Uh, Lazarin, you rolled a what? 22. So. <laughs> uh, Fuck off. Um, Did not enough. So, so, so you two are fine. Get higher deck. But Laszlo, you take... Uh, 20 points of bludgeoning damage are not prone. Fucking oh. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my riposte maneuver. When a creature misses me with a melee attack, I can use my reaction and expend a superiority die to make a melee weapon attack against it. Yeah, sure. Like, this is not technically a weapon you attack. You can say no, it's fine. But, but yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. Move this out of the way. Uh, oh, that's a 21. Because it doesn't, yeah, the superiority die goes on the damage roll, not on the attack roll. Damn, wasted superiority die. Rooks. Hey, so... I'm gonna hit him. Go on. I'm gonna try. Hmm. Uh, that's a 19. Oh, fuck. It's a 22. Six. That, that hits. Hey! He did something! Yay. Ah, we did it! We did it! We did it! <laughs> um, oh, let me concentrate. Oh, fuck. My damage went up. I forgot about that. Yeah. Fuck it, go. Oh, holy weapon's gone. Excellent. Uh oh. Uh, so eleven points of magic bludgeoning. Oh dear. And, uh, a huge five. Five, in the five points of magic fire damage. Magic uh, fire damage. And then bonus action flurry of blows. One. an 8 for a total of like 16 it's an 8 for a total of 16 <laughs> okay well, hit uh, I would like to as a free action shit in my hands and clap okay. uh, Morin that's it I'm... <sighs> dude why you the, have shit, the is shit is sprayed in a radius equal to your uh, strength modifier wouldn't make oh, sure it's constitution plus yeah. 5 right um, unless your resistances are just cringe, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Only one way to get through them. True. Yeah. But I don't want to use the spells I need to use to get rid of them. I mean, if we don't live to see the rest of them, then you'll be regret using the spells. You either die a hero or live long enough <laughs> to regret using your spells. 
or regret and then not die. Using. Fuck it, dude. Okay. I'm just gonna cast whole monster and fucking Vader choke that bitch. You know? Wisdom save, correct? I need a, yeah, wisdom save. I got to the classic Witcher 3 combat banger on my playlist. 29. Dutch, I would recommend that you go bridge with Quiver. Gladly. Anyway, 29 saves, so... Guys, look at my belly button. It doesn't it's save. so cute. It doesn't save, go fuck yourself. It doesn't save. It does. My, my, I have a spell save DC of 30. You're lying. I would never. Stop lying. <laughs> Anything else you want to do? He can look at your character sheet. That's lie to me Why in my you fucking always face. Lying? Fucking shit in Brooks's hands, I guess. And then he claps. <laughs> and then you high five. Bam! That's low. <laughs> Throw oh, boy as you are. Holy weapon gone. I'll stand up. Yeah, right down there, bro. Gargantuan dragon up. leaning over you, looking for a second chance at killing you. He's a cleric, not a bard. And I will, once again, just do what I did last time, but not use holy weapon. I'm just going to swing my fucking dragon cleaver at it. Don't miss. Thank fuck. Uh, that is a uh twenty seven to hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, this this is a dragon, right? Oh. Yeah. Cool. If you went actually, you know, an appellation of a dragon, I would have. I think I would have screamed. Like legitimately, I would. I, I kind of wish I said that. Now. <laughs> yeah, no, right. Uh, can it make a Constitution saving throw, please? Oh no. Yeah, I mean, 32. Yeah, that that's about do it. Uh do I have anything else? No, nope, I do. No, no, that's so bad. Uh, that's seventeen points of damage. As you swing the uh, dragon bone cleaver with the, with this swing with all of just the kind of the, the raw, unprocessed emotion behind it, and just kind of with your eyes closed, just sw swipe, letting out a like a slight scream of just just frustration, as you cut right through this dragon's body, and it just begins to disintegrate. It collapses before you, leaving behind yet another book. Oh, what's the book say? Um, at the book, they finally did something. Hey. The Elemental Guardians, the Hunt for Death Jaw. Now just put back the dragon book in. Back. As you all, Let's move on. as you pick up this book, you suddenly hear a faint yeah. whisper. It can't end for you, Lux. Like have to press on. And all of you, by some magical means, are healed. Or half of whatever uh -huh. health you are missing. So if you're missing 50 uh, hit, hit points, you're being healed for 25. You get me? Okay, I'm. Uh, oh, math is hard. Okay. Are we I'm, rounding oh, yeah, up or down? Hard. The, we round down. Round possible. down, baby. Okay. Can I overheal? So no. I heal for four. One. No, you can't overheal because you heal for half of what you're missing. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm missing, missing all my temp HP. I'm missing oh, 65, works. so I will heal for 32. Yo, yes. me too. Hey. Oh. And then, looking... should we take a little break here before you guys yes, press on? Yep. I'm okay. gonna take my four health. Uh, uh, we'll be right I'm taking back. Damage, you guys.
Hello. <laughs> Bellow. I'm Brian Bedondi. Do you build bungalows? So, what the hell are you talking about, Sean? Let's uh, it's a jump. Uh, phone jack a bit, I think. Right back into it, gang. It's a phone jack a bit. So, yeah. You defeated Death Jaw. Uh, found the book. You got some extra healing. The voice. Thank fuck. To you. Uh, what you do? Uh, I will, using the ring that I have, I will cast. I'll use it four times, and I'll do two uh, uh, castings on both uh, Kaseron and Lozan. Of what are you wounds. doing? Cure wounds on both of you guys. Oh, nice. Thanks. At second level. While you're doing that, I will uh, thank you profusely for the healing, and say also just note to the group at any point, uh, if anyone is inclined to take a short rest, you would be amazed how quickly I can recover. So I will not say no. At you any get point. not right now. You so get twenty four points of healing. Uh, nice. And uh, 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 Lozan, you get thirty two points of healing. Ooh, Aww. isn't that nice? Isn't that just bloody what? lovely? And I will take a second. Still need... I, I'm, still need I'm healing, looking or? great now. I'll feel. I'll be. I'll feel this tomorrow. But I'm pretty good right now. You can I mean, still I, use. I, if you're offering, I've got a boo boo. <sighs> and I will just Would do one. Would you like one. this pack? Oh. Offer the regular potion. I, if you, if uh, Lazarus actually looks like he's gonna cast on me, I'll step back. <laughs> oh no, I'm... no. I... No, I'm. I'm. Literally I can joking. do. I can do a lot for free. We did the ring jacks gave fine. me. Really okay. Fine, I promise you. This isn't just you having a diversion because it's been a while since you've felt my magic. I have this scratch. Here. Oh, has it now? <laughs> Not like that. He gets so nauseous when I cast spells on him. I'm trying to lighten the mood. Oh. Ha ha. <laughs> That's the spirit. Anyway, it's got this day so, going much worse. On the subject Dragon. of spirits, and Elazarin just starts crying. Yeah, <laughs> you say spirit? <laughs> no, 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 no. The dragon was a friend of yours, or? Are you fucking joking? Is that how you yes. treat your friends? No, I'm. I'm it, literally joking. I. It's so hard to tell. You're so monotone. I, I, like, I don't think they're and in a... you keep the same face shape like crack a smile man i don't think they're in much of a position from recent events it sounds like to be on the receiving end of jokes anyway lozan it sounds like they're on the to receiving crack end a smile of a lot of it seems lately. like you're not exactly a, a, a harbinger of joy or... what me I, yes but I... no fucking oh laszlo over there telling me to crack a smile once in a while it is ironic <coughs> I believe his cheeks are still damp with his last breath. anyways um this next starts welling up again <laughs> i'm not tunnel, i'm not implying anyone needs one. to behave any kind of way i'm just saying it, it's a little rich coming from you uh, 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 forgive me allow me to start over please tell us about the dragon um, one of the generals of Tiamat, Deathjaw, the weakest of the five, and oh, good. a prick overall. Well, the weakest. Luckily, not the one we just. Like hell. Yep. The next, if we have to face the next one, that's going to be a doozy on my whole. Uh, but there's going to be multiple of that. I will definitely. Well, no. You need a breather no. at some point. I'm just going to put it out there now. It might not be. I might be completely wrong. But if it's going through our greatest hits, this is our latest. Oh, no. And that's what, like, Kassara and then has the moment of, like, hunters? oh, God, Orcus, and looks at Lozan and goes, oh, well, no. Well, we're fighting Tiamat, who is, you know, the <laughs> goddess of dragons, so, yeah. Kind of. Sounds kind it's of... Boring, yeah. Oh, sorry, did that bore you fighting uh Well ancient kind dragon? of, yeah. Is and that because please. none of your spells did anything, or is that because 
Excuse me. Morn, I do wish we'd gotten more time to adventure together. I do as well. Just, I'm just saying, you know. I saw your spellcraft and shit. Was about as effective as mine, and I did fuck all with my spells. Shall we continue before yes, this reaches shall. a point of not being productive? Uh, points to the now going. The next path is a, a long one that we're gonna go south. It has like three little. Yep. Is that the the route you're going? Yeah. Uh, so I think we'll at some point in that in the that first walk. short little dead end yeah. down that path. I, yeah. I will sidle up to more and be like, by the way, big fan. <laughs> big, <laughs> big fan, you work. I'm a I'm a I'm a completely cold shoulder like big man, bro. <laughs> And I, I like, hey, and I was gonna start like, yes, hello, I'm coming. On my finest work. <laughs> On my finest. Uh... It's been a, it's been a lot. Um, it's so been a you're lot. going down the tunnel, and there's these three little alcoves. And on the first one, um, you see yet another lectern, but this one has no page on it. Next to the le lectern stands an altar, and on it a handprint. A hand there print. was someone that had a hand as a symbol. The black there hand. There we go. Mm. Mm. I was like, there, there's like memories. Very the, late. The, That's, uh, the pre night webs. That's all you guys, right? I think so. Been a while. That was on Gen's uh, and mine's continent, yes. I feel like I remember changelings with the black hand. There wasn't that Very much whole... so, yes. Mm. Yes. Oh, so that's... Oh, so nothing changes then. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we we had the whole, like, changeling... Well, I guess we have, currently. ...have the whole changeling thing. That's, um... Fun. Incredibly useful agents of chaos. Changeling. I was gonna say, there are, there are some very, very lovely changelings. Um, well, one that we've met. That's about it. So we yes. bastards as well. Elazar, Elazar, have we met a changeling that hasn't? Well, okay, I guess we wouldn't know, but as far as we're aware, have we met a changeling that hasn't tried to kill us? Mm, no. You might have. You just didn't know. Yeah. We've not I met mean, one who's been I've... in there. Uh, regular, like in a, there. A natural changeling tried to kill body? some of our friends one time, so we didn't have that in common. What's that like? Well, a lot of times, actually. Let's get to say. So, but uh, as far as you can tell, there is no page, but there is that altar that has like a like a like a hand handprint in the form of like not drawn mm. on, but kind of like there is a like, hand shape, like a hand shaped mm. uh, dent in this. I put my hand in it. Do you? Not when you say it like that. No, like a genuine question. Do you put your hand in it? Sure, bro. Fucking run it. Okay. Uh, upon putting your hand in the indentation, uh, you feel a quick prick. Yeah, okay. As you take yeah. two points of piercing damage as needles pierce your skin, blood seeping into the handprint. When filling it up, a page appears. A lectern. Ew. That's... That's not... The morbid I feel like at all. That wasn't worth, but okay. Or unsanitary. What have we got in this page, brother man? Upon learning of the goings on at her circus, Octana's convinced her friends hey. to aid her old family. The journey took the party to a mansion, the home of Lord Eindek. Reversing through the manor, the heroes of exile found themselves in a dungeon fighting a rabid vampire lord. Upon defeating him, it was Kisarin who managed to stop the vampire from fleeing in his mist form by the clever use of her water ganassi powers. The mist disappeared, crowning moment. and the party stood victorious. And a book appears. The Heroes of Exile Saga, the Cirque Arcane. I go, oh, I'm keeping that one. Take Good that old one. iron dick. Yep. Iron. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Barring, barring <clears throat> my family, this is probably the thing I'm for most impressed with myself for ever doing. So, I'm keeping this. Well, I was going to say the rest of us weren't there, so. Exactly. So I, only I know how truly awesome it was, because I was the only one there. I, I don't doubt it. Yeah. Do you continue oh, to the second going down. alcove? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This dead end is a, sli uh, a slight bit different from the others. You can see seaweed decorating the walls, and a lectern decorated by the wheel of a ship stands before them. Underwater bar. On it's another page. This is ragtag fuckwit shit. Mm -hmm. So the part where Daigon became a fish temporarily. <laughs> and so did Onan, right. Um, yeah. <laughs> the party travels the ocean in search of Umberlee's trident, accompanied by Captain Vera Silex and her crew, one in particular, a large turtle named Kai. On seeing land, <gasps> they met with the locals in a small village, a shipwrecked crew, unbeknownst to the party the crew was working for Umberlee, having to tell her if anyone ever set foot on the island. Fast forward, the party find themselves striking a deal with the locals, feigning their captivity, being escorted deep into Umberlee's lair. Forgot we did and that. And within that lair, they learned of Asisha's betrayal of the other elemental lords. And a book appears. The Elemental Guardians, yeah, fuck that guy. the search for the Bitch Queen. So shell is all the way. Fuck off, Asisha. Inferior water lord. Uh, and that is it. That. Area. Uh, I, need you, I need you to say the do the thing. Say the line, Duke. <laughs> what line? Mr. Shaw? What? Oh, well, <laughs> mm, How could you forget. Every I mean, other person knew exactly what I was on about. Uh, I'll be honest, just... I don't know what the fuck I didn't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Listen, this is just sad. <laughs> Patricia if it was Patricia, get it. Astisha <laughs> Is it an you did it with a stitch though. Every you single did it. time yeah. the name said, yeah. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Not every time. Okay, 95% oh, of the time. I still do it Fucking in my head every time. Because he's, still, he's still not done it. <laughs> but, we venture to your next section. Yes, the final yeah, of this, me, of this me, leg me, of me, tunnels. Me. Yeah. This tunnel has... Lectern decorated by a large wooden snake coiling up to stand. And on the lectern is another page. How long she's been in captivity by Banak, Thomas doesn't remember. Every day the same fate. Torture, questioning, ridicule, endless cycle on repeat. Do her friends care enough to come save her? Or have they given up on her? The longer it takes, the more doubts get into her mind. Door opens, Thomas expects the usual daily torture session by Banak. Said her friends into the safety at last. And I forgot the book about that, The Heroes of Exile Saga, Anak, Orcus's servant. I'll just look I at totally Morwen. I forgot he kidnapped it. You got fucking yeah, like, you want... Fucking yeah. mm -hmm. Look then she at cut Morwen, off. do you want this one? Sure. I mean, yeah. you're still chasing that fucker from last I heard. Unfortunately, just doesn't want to die. That is a trademark of liches, unfortunately. Well, he's not even a lich. He's just got clones. Very strong wizard. Oh, I a, thought a lich, he... a lich would be easier to kill. Was he a lich? I I, I, I'm, mix, I'm mixing lich, him up he? for someone else. Then I'm mixing uh, him up. Yeah, you're mixing him up with uh... you, you, you. Uh, that's the other lady that's was a That's campaign lich. two stuff. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, think, you're thinking of Zenji. There we go. That's who I was. Yeah, Zenji was the lich. There we go. My bad. Anak, uh, has made an appearance in the campaign two, or like, uh, yeah, and, and and talk about and whatever, and that is, we're told basically that this guy turns up to the lich, which yep. uh, I don't know if Morgan's aware of that little fact. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Bye. yeah, um, where do you go next? backtrack and go to the the next shortest tunnel like because there's one still on the southern end but it's like mm -hmm. immediately after we get back to the main pathway that sure. next little one All right this tunnel leads to yet another lectern shock horror this one stands within a decorated carriage tattered pieces of fabric all around and the page Barovia. reads the party faces off with the evil vampire lord strahd yeah not just to free brooks's brother or to complete aranya's mission mission to free the realm of Barovia from his grasp. The fight lasts long, the battle devastating. Strahd goes into a rage, lifts the lantern off the ground. I told you, I would show you what happens to heroes in Barovia. As he punches a hole into Lazarin's chest, straight through, his heart still beating in Strahd's hand. And a book appears. The Elemental Guardians, the freedom of Barovia. 
Well, you look pretty good for a guy who had his chest punched through. There's a lot of strategic magic can solve. So, when we asked what you've done, why did you leave me with dragons who, I feel like, are relatively I easy guess to find? Dragon, and kill dragons versus are the current agenda. Strahd. Well, you know. Also done one of the um, Dark Eight, but you know. I mean, to be fair. How did you encounter not, a Dark Eight? They're, they're <clears throat> not just dragons. They are, like. Quite the, yeah. Sure, like, sure, but uh, dragons. Nonetheless. Okay, you're really oh. burying the lead with a name like Ragtag Fuckwits, then you know that. We also didn't name ourselves that, I'll be honest. Not... <laughs> Who named yourself that? I, fuck if I know it. Someone said it once I, as a I think joke. I, made the, I think I made the joke in it. Someone said there's a joke once in a meeting and some um, I'm pretty sure it's Jax, but okay. Um, <laughs> pretty sure it's Davian, but okay. Uh, actually, it was me, guys. Actually, <laughs> none of you, none of you three were there, so tough shit. All I, I know. All I can tell you is the day it happened because of Dagon's journal entries, but I can't tell you who said it. <laughs> all I know. Is, yeah, but you can pinpoint an episode. It's what we're stuck with. I mean, you're literally not. You can change it at any time. Okay, cool. We can change our name, but it doesn't mean people will still call us by that name. Well, you gotta work on the branding side of things. You gotta start somewhere. Maybe, maybe get a logo made up. Uh, start manuscripts down. across the. You need a you need a, a publicist. I bet it doesn't matter what we're called as long as we get the job done. Someone else can tell our tale. Well, clearly, allegedly, someone is, according to this wizard in these books. Exactly. It doesn't matter what I name it, or what we name it. History will. Give it might us matter meaning. to some members in your party. Have you asked? Oh, asking just leads to us coming up with more stupider names than ragtag fuckwits, making <laughs> hmm. names that acronyms that spell out rude words. So you know. Okay, but that sounds funny. Uh, it's definitely funny. Not helpful though. All right, well, Heroes of Exile isn't exactly the most innocent acronym either, but... I, you also are aware that people frequently shorten it to hose, right? Exactly. That's yeah, the farming yes. tool. Exactly. Yes, Anyway. Elijah. The farming <laughs> tool. Uh, we'll continue, and we'll the next time it branches, we'll do the one on the left slash north. That kind of is like a weird hook shape. Okay. Uh... There's two little alcoves there. Yeah, we'll do the, um, the first, the one that goes west first. Um, this tunnel floor is covered by a few inches of water. The lectern at the end of this area has a page on it, almost ruined by the water. But what is legible reads the following. The party, after traveling through the jungle and befriending the local underwater population, learned that a monstrous hey. being roams the depths of the lake. Nabaleth, a stitious pet. Mind controlling some of the, some of their own people, there to keep the people in check. If they are truly to be set free from Astitia, the Abeleth has to go. The book appears. The Elemental Guardians' perils in Lake Udina. Mm -hmm. I lied. That's Udina. where Daigon got turned into a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's yes, where Oni was an octopus. octopus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also was an octopus on the pirate ship too for a bit, I'm pretty sure. Probably. Or maybe just birded it. Could have been. I forget. I forgot. Um, it's like yeah. seven years ago, so. Uh, another book to add to One, the tally. Literally a year. And the more and more you're collecting these maybe books, and the more and more you see how detailed all of these various chapters and adventures have been written, you're almost beginning to kind of consider. Nope. No, there is this, this whisper in the back of your head that's like, absolutely this is, not. This is getting a little. This guy who this no. guy who's written all this no. stuff got a lot of free time on his hands. That's taking fucking ages to chronicle all this down. <laughs> yeah, if you, all you... I know is if we get to the end of this and we have to fight Orcus, I am not going to be happy. But I feel like it's inevitable now. And I'm kind of stressing over it. Yeah, I don't want to repeat that. 
yeah, heads up for you two if you weren't. Or we're, we're now probably fighting Orcus. You probably already know that. Points at a Lazarin. Nice. You saved the a... realm, saved the city, saved the a... material plane. Crapping him, if I recall. We had a fair amount of help as well. Credit where mm. credit is due. Well, according to Matthias, it was all him, so... Of course. What's new? Not remotely true. That is a gross <laughs> misrepresentation um, of the kind of character that Gen was. <laughs> Lo Lozan actually is like the that biggest That is Gen such Matthias. a Davian move. Not yeah. a Gen move at all. <laughs> oh, I know, but so, it's funny. His voice, through some like horrible accident, Gen lost his voice and started writing books instead. Oh, imagine. Right, I mean, well, he we'll did to... plan on writing a book, too, yeah, I think. We'll, we'll go to the end of this little... little the, where the hook comes around. This tunnel is uh, decorated with snow. A small blanket of snow covering the floor. Icy layer on the wall. The lectern decorated. Through dragon scale. Thermogar, baby. Mm. Nakul was caught off guard. Believed he had no family left after his home in Thermogar was destroyed. Suddenly before him stands Pricknell, not only a living resident of his not only a fellow blue dragonborn, on top of all that, family, bound by blood, something Nakul thought he would never have again. And it suddenly stands before him. Is this a trick? Is this a cruel jest of fate? This can't be real. All of this all of these thoughts race through Nakul's head. Yet what follows an embrace. Family reunited. Times like these, for all these years. In a book, Years of Exile Saga, the Spark Boy. Oh, cute! He got his own chapter. Let's go. <laughs> like we, we, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up that one as well to be like, if we are, if we do get to go back <laughs> to our home and we have any memory or physical mementos, he'll, he'll enjoy. It. He'll get a kick out of this. I'll give it to him. All right. Oh, yeah. We'll now go to check out the other one directly across from this tunnel on the east slash south side. Right. West side. Wrong one. The lectern here stands bare, with the page on top of it. The paper seems touched by flame, burnt edges, some still singeing. A suit. The party stands, devastated. They watch the town sink into the... Once stood a beautiful oh, town, no. lies nothing but a pit of love. Morwen looks oh, over the hole no. with rage and sadness in her. her home, now ruined. Fuck. Orcus. They have to pay. Mission grows in her head. The book appears. Years of Exile Saga. Devastating home. I'll grab that one. I know it's gonna be painful to look through, but Morwen, maybe there's information about Banak in there that you don't know and could help? Well, considering they're very accurate on what we lived, I'm sure it's probably just the start of where it all really came to head. Maybe it has something from his POV, and we don't know. True. So, and I'll also give her just like a like shoulder tap, like in solidarity, uh, like sorry. Have to be reminded of that kind of vibe. That's alright. That's life. Cannot That's petrified for two hundred years. True. Forgotten about that. I haven't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I blame. I blame old age. Bunch of kicking in early. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I? I? Why is everybody clapping? I mean, she was, she was, she was already thirty-eight during campaign one. So if it's been thirty years, she's sixty-eight. I was saying Nicole, Nicole is either like same age or like he's either seventy or eighty. Like and this man is she's old. sixty-eight with the misfortune of having two teenage children right now. Ooh. Which is rough. Rygel's an adult, but she's two more now. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Mm. Does Rygel do the babysitting? Sometimes. Not enough. 
It's like, no, no, cool does that. Oh, or if she, gets, she gets out of it too, because whenever I ask her to babysit, she's like, well, where were you the first 16 years of my life? Maybe you should make sure you're there for your other ones. And I'm like, okay, not my fault. And then it's a whole thing. And the cool officer, because he's got fuck all else to do, he's like, I'm in the city. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Unky not going Nicole. Nicole, the one who um... brings all the like really loud toys. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, oh, yeah. he's definitely yeah. like the... all the annoying. Or he brings them like real <laughs> weapons as opposed yeah. to like toy yeah. weapons. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, no, it's oh, it's like dagger, <laughs> that, that sword, like a nice move. Here's like, a war pick. Of, Have fun with yeah. that. Instead so of this a is toy brutality. crossbow, real crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like. They're... Telling the stories of like his adventures, like and this was the weapon I used. Now say this magic word. Yeah, <laughs> oh god, don't say the magic word. Oh god. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> See, I imagine Nicole, I imagine Nicole would wait until they're like teenagers. Yeah. Whereas Kes, the wow. uh, uh, Actanis, when they're like six, is like, so this is a gun. <laughs> oh god, she had a gun. Now oh, this we do is you look at it this way. Well. Taught me how to use this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He says, the She's best like, way to check no, if it's loaded is the gun called Russian gets. roulette, and I go, no, please, for the love of God. Laurent never told her gun safety. <laughs> yeah. No, no, he didn't. Only well, only safety off, never on. Yeah. There, the there only is gun no safety at all exactly. is concealed carry. Oy vey. Oh, boy. Lab explosion. Pain in right. foot. <laughs> Gang. What's this weird little, like, not even a full tunnel, just like a room off to the side as we go forward? Uh, probably a room. That's the kissing corner. Like the one, that has, the the, the one that's north. The boy kissing corner. <laughs> no, just one, the kissing the corner. The one that goes oh. north, like up. Mm -hmm. a small little. Yeah, a little. Just a little. I do. Little room. Glad you asked. Oh no. As you enter this area, you are faced by two figures. One, like a that. female lich wearing expensive robes with long claw-like fingers. We talked fingers. about her earlier. Zenji, the witch queen, no. accompanied by a noble-looking vampire with an elegant robe. Oh, what? Zenji says, a So, Morwen, we meet again. You brought different friends this time. How adorable. You've been home recently. Here it's quite lovely this time of year. And this vampire, oh, Brooks, is good to see you again. How's Ren doing? Does he miss me? Remember oh, last time cheering. I promised you. What would happen to heroes in Morovia? <laughs> Let me make good on that promise. Promise it. And as he says We're that, I'm going to I was gonna say, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy killing this one. And as Saren pulls out her sword, I'm going he first. Says, Yo, more Hello. good rolls! I'm so excited. <clears throat> so you are chills. faced with both Zenji and Strand at the same time. Holy fuck! That sounds fucking terrifying. I hate it here. We're really, we're really okay. going through the greatest hits, and I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying just like kind of like reminiscing all the weird shit I put you through. I also really man. miss oh, right fuck. now having a character that could do radiant damage. Uh, right about now. <laughs> me, 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 more, me, 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 more. Oh, suck, huh? There you go. I'll match Laura for a minute. Hey, let's go. <laughs> all right, anyone twenty plus. <laughs> Dirty no, 26. Dirty 20. 20. No. 23. I'll let your resistances are in pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, Laura and Duke, what'd you guys roll? I got a 19. 18. Oh. Huh. We lowest all on the initiative well. roll is an 18. Either yeah. one, they're all good on the lowest initiative. Right. This is rude. Orwin, you get to go first. Yeah... See, it's, it's the old debate of do damage or just try to hit spell, but light or but legendary resistance, you know? I mean, they're not dragons. They might not have. Yeah, I'll probably have one or two. That's it. Uh, it's the vampire, bro. Just, I, I, my problem is, I know this isn't like the last stop, but it might be the last stop. So I'm like, mm, no, 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 no. There's, there's, there's got to be one more. There's got to be bricks off again, just so Dutch can continue to traumatize a Lazarin. I a Lazarin is too toy. <laughs> Suffering <just> dot JPEG. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna pull the spell, I may as well pull it out here. Um, so I. I'm gonna 
aim a little line from like here to here. Mm -hmm. So um, it's like kind of going right in between or touching both of them? Yeah, and I'll hit him with a little sunbeam. Ooh! Okay. So I need a Good con call. save, sir. I enjoyed that spell a lot in Baldur's Gate. Act three. Oh my god. Only in uh, Act three, not Act two? What the fuck? 22 for Zenji. Saves. Uh, 15 for Strong. Fails. Okay, I'm a legendary. Fuck you, you dumb piece of shit. Why is math so hard, dude? Anyway. Um, 40 points have the 20 hmm? radiant. <sighs> okay. That's my turn. Brooks. I'm pretty sure I have no bonus actions. Brooks, I want to make it a note that Strahd has not broken eye contact with you and is just smirking. I don't give a fuck who this witch bitch is. I'm raging and going for Strahd. Hell yeah. It's a natural 20 on the first one. What happened if you moved yourself so you knew where you were? I'm doing mm. it now. Nice. True. He's got insane go. fucking arms, Mr. Stretch Armstrong In, over there. Okay. Mr. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, it's a 20 oh, I saw him in that marble movie. One. It's... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Gulp. So cool. Gulp. <laughs> I didn't even bet him. Probably even put better. I said I've seen him in that Marvel movie. That Marvel movie Gulp. <laughs> She hasn't even came out in like two or three. Twenty-seven. Okay. So okay, do I need to separate uh, bludgeoning and fire? Uh, no. And then twenty-seven points of damage on the first one. How much? Sorry. Twenty-seven. Okay. Yeah. Maybe damage. Pretty... Hey, for a, a monk, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then. Uh, 14 on the second one. Uh, for damage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like a. I called it out earlier. It was a yeah, 27. Yeah. Um. Fuck it. I'm gonna. Bonus action. Flurry of blows. Twenty-three and a twelve. Uh, twenty-three hits, twelve misses. Yeah, I got the. And I'm gonna. Do -do -do. That is sixteen points of damage on the punch. Mhm. Mm and then I'm not gonna move here. Fuck it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get behind Strad. Okay. Oh my god, for a second there. I was gonna be so pissed off at you, Ethan. And what if Please. I got behind him? Yeah. <laughs> you just I'm got like, next to him. <laughs> Is that your turn? And Yeah, and because I flurry of blows, I get disengaged for free. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gonna use a legendary action. Of course. Okay. And... He is going to make this claw attack. As you see, he's like he has a normal hand, and he turns towards you to kind of like trace you from where you where you went. You can see mid swipe, the hand just shifts into this large claw as it just. Is this like the Justice League moment of like he turns as I move? The what? Like fucking oh, right. Superman and. Um, let's say dirty twenty to hit. Uh, I'm gonna spend a point of luck and make you reroll that. E exact same. Fuck. <laughs> I rolled the exact same. Bastard man. Bastard man. Yeah, that mm -hmm. hits. Uh, you take uh, 12 points of slashing damage, so 6, as well as... Yep. You are raging, right? Yep. As well as... 
Oh, I'm stupid. Uh, he, I, I couldn't have uh, flurry of blows. I raged. Oh. So, uh, duh, duh, duh. Uh, the last 14 didn't exist. Yeah. And also, you don't get the disengage for free. No. Yeah, but you, the you, bitch queen you didn't leave. Oh. Yeah, yeah but the bitch Zenji's, queen. Yeah. Uh, Zenji. So, Zenji okay. can hit me. Right. Uh, you take also. You also take. Let me finish this first. Uh, Twenty points of necrotic damage. Uh, and is that before or after being halved? Uh, that's before. So ten. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Your rage halves fucking. Every... Um. <laughs> Not psychic. Yeah, it's like the one exception. To I need you to make a uh, athletics or acrobatics check. Anything to grab. Okay. I win these. I'm bad at dude. Uh, 33. You good? Uh, Zenji... Oh, good number. ...for the attack of opportunity is going to hit you with... ...or attempt to hit you with... ...a paralyzing a touch. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what oh, attack of opportunity? Is that a spell or is that an attack? Because Brooks left an Zenji's attack. melee. But Brooks used disengage for free. You were no, not paying attention no, last about two minutes, and it shows. No, I was looking at my character sheet. I'm sorry. I realized I realized that if I raged, I couldn't bonus action sorry. because I'd already used it. So he had to he had to redact Slayer blows, which also redacts. Hey, at the, least I fessed up. Yeah, not true because I fucking missed it. Uh, Twenty-seven hit. Uh, I'm gonna spend a point of luck. Roll that again, you son of a bitch. Twenty-four to hit. Fuck you. <laughs> what are you using all these luck points for, man? Because I need them to miss me. Why? Um, you have so much health. Because yeah, to change the way you me. kiss me. You take 12 points of cold right, damage, example. which I assume is also getting halved. So six. Yep. Okay. And I need you to make a constitution save. You win, win these. these. This is where you need the luck point. <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually, like, I'm not proficient in con saves. <laughs> I don't believe it. Uh-huh. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Okay, you're good. You're good. I don't like the way you said that. Am I actually good, or is he just not telling me what happened? Oh, you're good. You would be paralyzed, yeah, so... It's paralyzing touch, and you made the same. Good. Um, Zenji, because this is, this is the fun thing, because you have two enemies that are considered boss fights, they both can do legendary actions out the ass, so Zenji's also going to use a little... <laughs> oh, you're a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I don't. I'll just fucking make the exit action. What's the legendary fucking French? Action? What the fuck? The, the oh, this is, they, they're both gonna have legendary resistances. They're both gonna have legendary action. Duke, Duke. Duke's a legendary asshole. Uh, and but she I am is legendary. going to cast Ray of Frost at uh, Lazarin. Oh, fuck fucking so she thinks he's a cool guy. No one thinks uh, that. That is a... 23 to hit. You're lying. I'm not lying. Oh, man. Hits. My I'm math, 11 plus 12 equals 23. Mither fricker. Yeah, but it's not plus 12. Yeah, you plus got it wrong. 12? It's only plus 10. Lol. It's, pl mm. it's plus, plus 12 to hit the spell attacks. No, it says it right here, man. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Um, So that hits. <laughs> what did fricker. Spell classic. <laughs> That's 48. It was nice knowing you, Laszlo. What do you mean? I'm not that bad. 48 is nothing. But it's nothing. Like 19 points of cold damage. He's a squishy boy. And mm -hmm. your movement speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next You're time. shitting me. No. no. <laughs> That's what Brooks does. Uh, and it is now your turn, Laszlo. Cool, I've got. 20 feet of movement. Uh, Stash. No, because I need my action. Just have 35 more feet of movement. Hmm. If I go here. Mm hmm. Right. I can't, like, uh, fucking aim a 
If I aim sunbeam, can I can I do what Jax just said? Fuck it, didn't hit both of them, or is it not? If you no, have no, to wait. hit me, then hit me. I'll be fine. Like, uh, can I do it? The reason why I allow Jaxxers is because Jax is uh, no, Morwen. Morwen goes like. Yeah, Morwen, I thought sorry. Jax, Morwen. sorry, Morwen. Sorry. Yeah, yours. Because you started this session by going, oh. You did do that. Yours is a little more finicky. Yours, you really, nah. Yeah, you know, I know. Like, I'm not. Angles. Yeah, yeah, that's. See, I wanted. To, if I had my full movement here, it would have been perfect. I was under a complete fucking mirror match, you know? Yeah. So it's. Oh my god, I'm in you. So instead, because I can't do it like that, I'm just going to go there and I'm just going to fucking aim it at Strahd. Seeing the sunbeam, I will also sunbeam myself on Strahd. And he has disadvantage on the save because he's not dead. Uh, true. Uh, fail, but legendary resistance. Fuck you. Okay. What the hell? That's fine. It's like, did you roll 40 on 68? That's insane. Yeah. My first three rolls were all three eights. So. Cool. So I've done the opposite of that. Excellent. <laughs> eh? We're using oh. four of them. Of the six, four of them make ten. So. Yeah. Uh, Whose spells then... don't do shit, motherfucker? Talk shit again. <laughs> bitch. Uh, it's 24 points of damage, half to 12. Talk shit, get hit. Okay. Oh, fuck it. Oh, whoa. Uh, fuck you. How much? You'll... Sorry? Uh, 24, half to 12. <laughs> I'll steal and strike your ass, bitch. That your turn? Don't fucking tempt me. <clears throat> I fucking flame strike you, motherfucker. Nice. Yeah, nice. Bitch, that won't do anything. Is that your turn? It's pussy spell. Ladies. Yes. Oh, sorry, not flame strike. Um, Firestorm. Still a baby spell. Or reverse on gravity you. on your ass. Ten on you. Uh, and going to... Oh, you're talking kisses <clears throat> on you! Ability called disrupt life. It's your mom. Each non-undead creature within 20 feet of her. So that is Brooks. Ew. That everyone, is Laszlo. Right. That is Morwen. Uh, not me. Need to make. Uh, That's not a spell, right? Constitution saving throws. Correct. It's not. Fuck. Don't save. Hmm? Fifteen. Fail. Uh. Twenty-two. Uh, make a save. <laughs> That's a 10. Uh-oh. Uh, 6, 12, 15, 20, My life 26, has been disrupted. 27. Um, <laughs> those who failed the save take 27 points of necrotic damage. Uh, those Yikes. who made the save, or whichever one of you was at roll 20 plus, uh, you Me? take half as much. So 27, 13. down to 13 points of necrotic I need to roll a con save now too. What's for a uh, sunbeam concentration. Same. Oh, I'm good. Fuck me, I just made it with a 13. Ooh. It is now Strahd's turn. Don't like that. Strahd just looks at Brooks, just very entertained by it all. Let's then go. looks at the Lazarin. Looks like you recovered well. You know, last week. They are uh, all in your chest about. Last we met, you were a burning pile of ash, so you look much better. <laughs> Looks like you are not the only one allowed a second chance. And he is going to use his bonus action. To move without provoking an attack opportunity. So suddenly, come on then! Inside you, Lazarin. And he is going to multi attack. Bring it, motherfucker! Going to make uh, one oh, claw dear. attack. And one rip out heart attack. <laughs> and one brutalized uh, the claw chest attack, attack is a 19 to hit. Meat. Okay. Then the second one will also be a claw attack. That's a 24 to hit. Yeah, it just hits. Okay. Uh, 
11 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Well, as. Mm. 18 points of dropping damage. Yikes. Uh, and I need you to make an athletics or an acrobatics check. It'll be acrobatics. Because he's attempting to grapple you. Uh, not for one. Oh, or no. <laughs> grappled. Oh, dear. And it's now Zenji's last. You need a concentration check, last turn. Turn. Oh, I do need to make a concentration check. That's right. Sure. Uh oh. As much as I love saying fuck you to Dutch. Uh, it's 16, so it's gonna pass. Just. Yeah, it passes. Take, uh, take yeah, that's, that's way good. Yeah, it's 10, 32. Right? Yeah. Just total damage from that, like, one attack was less than 32. So. Fucking yep. sheesh, mate. Fucking shit just closed for no reason. Lost. And she's closed. dead. She's and dead. She's, she's fucking lock, dead. Guys. She's dead. Old. She's fucking dead. I killed her. She's dead. The mini, fell over. the mini fell over, she's dead. You can't reload it. How <laughs> oh, that works? Yeah, and once you close the sheet, she's dead. That's how it works. <laughs> uh, and she'll lock eyes with you, Orwin. Yeah, sounds about right. Now, tell me, child. Do you have regrets? Allowing Only Banach, that I don't get to kill you more. Allowing Banak... <laughs> To keep on living his life, ascending, more powerful than he ever was, there was nothing you have done to stop it. How does that make you feel? Like a failure, as you were back when your city sank. And she is going to cast Power Ward Stun on you. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna fucking counterspell. So okay. suck my balls, bitch. Hey. What level? Third level, because I, I don't have a high enough spell slot to fully do it. Mm -hmm. Power of Sun's level 8 spell, I'm pretty sure. Third level spell. Yep. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, I don't even have that spell, spell slot, so. Here we go. I need to roll. Kill, DC 18. Uh, yeah. Spell level. DC 18. DC's 18. And I have. It's, you can do it. It's a d20 plus your just your spell. Your spell my modifier. spell cast, like plus 5, I right? I believe. Uh, just. Roll of 13. 10 plus spells level. Yeah, okay. Cool. What, you need to roll a 13 to pass? Actually? That doesn't look... I rolled a 14, so suck my balls, oh, bitch. There we go. She just... Ah! As then as she uh, makes that sound, you can see just the room kind of begins to shake, and there's this like airy chill that kind of runs on all your spines. Uh, as she does not... Don't you feel like a failure for not being able to cast a spell? Or do you set her off? Uh, Good. Lizanne. All her yeah. Her actions are coming up. Tis indeed. I would like to... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Use my bonus action... To go invisible. Okay. With nature's veil. Mm -hmm. Oops. And then five, ten. Oops. Wait. Fifteen. Twenty. Mm. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Oh. And I'd like to shoot Zenji. Okay. With first attack with advantage, because you know I'm invisible. Epic and all that. By the Unless way. you can see me. Uh, ooh, good. That's a good question. Um, sidebar, Dutch. Whenever Strahd starts to look really rough, can you let me know? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Zenji cool. has true sight, so you are not hidden from. Would I know that? Make a, make a, make a, hey, make a. Uh, just make an intelligence check. Make a cup of cool. Natural 20. Yes, you would. <laughs> um, in that case, would I be able to shoot? Uh, 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 Strahd, with advantage. Um, yes. Strahd is not okay. <laughs> Uh, First attack is a 20. 
Yes. Five? Yes. Okay. Mm. It's an extra D8 damage. Nice. So, 2D8 plus seven. So, 16 points of damage. And then the next attack is a 31 to hit. Yes. For... Oh, I fucked up. Uh oh. I should have favored foe. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, eleven points of damage on the second attack, hmm? and the third attack is a twenty-seven to hit. Yep. For fourteen points of damage. Yeesh. That was looking pretty rough. Like the focusing of the okay. Thing. Definitely uh, staying off. And that's my turn. Uh, Kassarin. Okay. I have a few questions before I just make a decision. I, I am guessing I would be unable to use my bait and switch maneuver on a Lazarin because he is grappled. It's like a maneuver that lets me switch places with them and like get them out of the way kind of thing. Yeah, no. Fuck, okay. Yeah, um... Okay. Instead, because my control, my control water is an action, ain't it? Yeah, nope. yeah, yeah, yeah. Balls. Uh, okay. But he do be looking rough. And I've used oh, you've used my action surge, and I haven't short rested because that would have been the perfect time. Because <laughs> uh, I, I faced a vampire before. We have the book. I want to do the thing again where I know when he's ready to mist water trap. Mm -hmm. But it's such a waste of my whole turn. That's all I do right now. You're also assuming that he's gonna mist. I know, I know. Okay, instead, um, this instead, is book world, remember. we will go attack, attack, Strahd. I move character. Uh, whoop! Zoom out. Five, and go here. Um, mm -hmm. and I'll roll. I have to do these one at a time because of what I decided to do. Okay. First attack. Oh, it's a dirty twenty. Hey. Um, I am going to make it a menacing attack because I don't want a repeat of history with the Lazarin. I feel like he's that might trigger him too much, push him over the edge. Uh, so I need Strahd to make a wisdom save. And I'll roll my damage. Uh, 21. Yeah, it makes it. So he's not frightened of me, but he at least takes extra damage. Um, he takes six plus thirteen plus. Seven. He takes twenty. So on the first attack, twenty points of slashing. Second attack. Oh, no, that's a eighteen. It's... Oh, hey. Yeah, he's it's just a guy. He is just a guy, I guess. Uh, for 13 points of slashing. Okay. And then the third attack. Strahd... Strahd's form dissipates. And you okay. can see Zenji kind of look at him. And she uses a reaction and raises her arm. And begins to murmur some words. And Strahd reappears. Well, I still have a third attack, so he reappears, but I didn't roll great. I, I rolled a 17? Third it's... attack? Hey! Uh, oh, that's not great. Damage. Nine nine points of slashing. Okay. That's damage. Yeah, and then I will bonus action. Oh, I can't, because my weapon doesn't have the light property, so I can't two-weapon attack. Uh, I can't two-weapon fighting, I should say. I have no other bonus actions. 
<clears throat> oh, sad. Okay, that's my turn then. Um, Strahd's gonna use a legendary action. Unless to... you'll be allow me to bonus action, because it's such an iconic thing, I know exactly to expect you'll allow me to do my water thing as a bonus action, even though it's an action. <laughs> okay. It's just I so iconic. Try. Yeah, it's just try. so iconic, Dodge. Come Big on. Queen. Uh, Strahd's gonna use a legendary action to move away from all of y'all for free. Oh, for free? That's rude. Not taking it. No, he can't move. No, 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 no. He's not allowed to move there. Morwen. No. Why not? Because I, I said so. <laughs> it is not That's not okay. <laughs> it is not your turn, Morwen. That's not okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll it back. Mark take it, it back. It, no, it take it back. back. Nope, no. nope, take it back. No. Nope. One hop this time. All right, you, know you asked for it. <laughs> uh, King of Dead. That's like the best Win. joke Dutch has made in Dungeons like, I think. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to dump another sunbeam into these two fucks. Okay, that's rude. Can you hit both Yes. You need straight, you that's like a straight sorry. diagonal, bro. No, it's not. <laughs> Dog. What are, what kind of ruler are you using? Hello? Slovakian. Yeah, but look at the like look at the board though, brother. But like, bro, look at geometry, fucking. Yeah, he drew oh, the board. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Listen, I'm about to say some things to Quaver right now. Dutch, I need you to mute. I'm not. See, look. No. See, look. See, look, look at that. He's right. <laughs> look at that motherfucker. I'm oh, right. No. Look at the squares. Look at the squares, no. you bitch. No, no one's no, 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 forcing no, no, him no, no, to cast no. it in that You're, direction. Yeah, yeah do, what are you talking about, like, dummy? Angles. I guess he could aim it that You're way. so British no. people. <laughs> he could aim it that way. No, man. I'm looking at so straight squares. So fucking defending you. I know. I remember. That's why I stopped myself. Anyway, so go. Do your fucking thing. Listen, Corey was going through a lot. Con saves. Koiba, go I'm just, jump bridge. I'm just saying when go my bridge. funny diagonal happened, it wasn't allowed. Now saying this bridge. funny diagonal is allowed, I'm fucking ending it all, dude. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Koiba. The difference Koiba. is funny like, diagonal. like Soko. Koiba. I like when you move the ruler oh, really fast and it like gets all bendy. Oh, yeah. that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, it's uh, 34 points of radiant damage. Don't I make a save first or something? Yeah, con saves. Yeah, I said to make a con saves. I was just yeah, rolling. Then Koi was like, I roll yeah, anyway. Kind of so <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, they both make oh, So this cone stinks. Or... Okay, so they take 34 points yeah. or 17 radiant. Plus, I'm going to double power surge. They take an extra. This they take the full thing of. They take uh, six force damage. Nice. Okay. That's my turn. I didn't kill either one. Legendary action. Fucking cringe. What? As Sorry. Strahd is going to. Action. What's the spell? No, he's not. Oh, he's not. You can't do that, can he? <laughs> it's you? going to pass. Hmm. Um, Morwen. Hmm? He's going to cast Morwen. I don't know that one. I'm going to need you. Like a... <laughs> no. Some saving throw. Counter spell. No. You said it's a spell. I imagine getting tagged. Am I rolling? Strat. No, it's a third. It, level I'm just casting it's it at third. It's a third level spell. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck myself, I guess. Fuck you. <laughs> Do so. All right. Uh, On cam. Counter spell is the player equivalent of legendary resistance. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Count counter spell is just the in in law like go fuck yourself. The magical middle finger. If you and will. it's so much worse in the new D and D. I'm so sad. Is there anything that's not worse in the new D and D? A lot of things. Ponder oh. elementals insane. But Brooks, uh, believe it or not, take your turn, brother. 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 He's got to do his exposition first every time. Five, ten. One o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, 15, we have 20, 38 minutes left. 25. You can do that a little Actually, plus that. I am going to. Yeah, you're not going to believe this. Story. Punch a guy. Like 37 seconds. Yeah. I'm fucking punch this dude. Huh? In the jaw. Wow. That is 26. <laughs> it's 
the line. Oh my god, get Brooks as well with this line. Let's go. Yep. That's <laughs> pretty big. Seven, and we'll win. Seven. 15 Do it, points pussy. on that one. Yep. Blind you both. And then, but your, your spells aren't doing anything. How? I know Strad's back, but like, is he bloody? Or like... He looks bloody, yeah. Mm. He, she didn't bring him back to full. I'm just thinking, can I kill him or do I fuck him over for someone else to kill him? Just kill him. Whatever you okay. prefer. I mean, he's your kind of like arc central bad guy. I feel like you have a very I hit established him again right to kill him. Mm -hmm. For it's a 26 to hit. Yes. Oh god. Um. 13 points. With that, Strand goes down hey. again. This time, his body completely dissipates. And Zenji what just looks bitch. with disgust. Zenji on... mad. Don't worry, you're next. And I'm if you're that. Around. If you're that. <laughs> really, mm. Koiba? Name a more iconic quote in six mm -hmm. years of Dungeon Select. You can't do it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I don't know. We all know about Ethan's well. car. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a Dungeon Select quote, though. Like, that's just how it's like, no... We definitely need the right session. Oh, that's resistance, Bran. I'm oh. gonna... Not the right oh. voice, <laughs> Not the right voice. Not the right... I'm gonna flurry a blow as Dutch. Yeah, go on. I'm gonna kick Zenji in the lich vagina. <laughs> Legina. Legina. <laughs> um, it's actually a cloaca now. <laughs> Ew. I don't know um, why I find that as gross as I do, but I do. First one is... Uh, dirty 20. Hits. And second one's a 27. All smits. Oh, the total of... Oh, do, do, do. 20 points. <laughs> Two dirty, uh, dirty 20 and whatever the fuck it was for a total of 20 points. Okay. Of magic bludgeoning. Mm hmm That is my turn. All right. I'm going to use a legendary action to attack you with a paralyzing touch. I don't like the sound of that. Natural 20. I oh, grabbed you by the balls. Oh, Natural don't like 20. That. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to lucky that. If you nat 20 again, I'm going to cry. It didn't. It was a nat 18. 30 to hit. <laughs> it still hits, but. Yeah. But it feels less bad. Uh, you know? I need you yeah. to take uh, 12, so 6 points of cold damage and make a constitution saving yep. throw. Make it con save. Is this technically a spell or is it an attack? No, it's an attack. Okay. She's touching you with her nasty hands. That's an eight. You are paralyzed. Uh oh. oh. That's not good. That's Lou? Good, because Min shall hit him. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking sunbeam. Mm -hmm. Uh, make a one of fucking bullshit savings you have to make. Con save. Yeah. Uh, 23. Yeah, that. Saves? Oh, is she uh, undead? Uh, yes. Disadvantage then? Oh, I forget. Yeah. I always forget uh, about that. 20? 20, yeah, still fucking saves. Lame. Fucking loser. No. <laughs> Wow. 23 after 12. Yeah. I'm consistent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Consistently shit. No. Exactly. Um, anything it's, else? Uh, yes, I will bonus action at a fourth level. Ooh. I'll do a masculine mask words easy win. Mask healing mask words. Oh, okay. fucking everyone. Oakley, Oakley. Hell yeah. I'll heal for five. Hey, I'll yeah, yeah. Actually, apart from more, more than shit. I'll heal for one. No, because you will get the same number, you bricks. No, I think yes, he's I'm only one missing hit one health. Oh, are you actually? Oh my god. Yeah. I just assumed everyone can hit. Whatever. Oh, I'll take some healing. Yeah, yeah. What the? Fuck? Yeah, there are people who will take the heals. You all get nine points of healing. Hey, I'm back oh. to full now. That's I'm exactly basically what full. I was missing. Okay. That's my turn. That was Engie's turn. She looks at Morwen. If I Itch. was paying attention, 
And I do. I don't think... Anything you can do to stop this. She raises her finger at you. Cast power word. Oh, she power word kill. There it is. I'm dead. You oh, don't have any. Yeah. I don't, even, I don't even have a hundred. I don't have a hundred HP in the first place. So you don't have any counter spells. Well, no, he, I use it on Strahd. You use a reaction to counter spell Strahd. It hasn't been a certain. I didn't know what Strahd was casting, so I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna." So Morwen drops dead on the ground. A dodge yeah. baited oh, you. Oh dear. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. And like dead, not unconscious, right? Okay. Like, I yeah. cast counter spell. Okay. I'm very well aware. As I reveal that I'm not going to make it out of this alive. At least I was able to take one. And that is the turn. Done. Oh, you know what's dear. crazy? Hmm. If I had the tough feet, I would have survived. <laughs> if Ko if Koiba hadn't killed hadn't healed me, I could have been power word killed. My third feet would have saved me. Hey, if my grandmother had wheels, she would be a bike. She would be a bike. The fuck? It's a reference. It's, I'll send it Beggars had a... Uh, 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 Say that again? Uh, 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 <laughs> This just got real bad. Eh, it Me. got medium bad. <laughs> got a it's nine. fine. I don't really got see Got real problem. bad for Soko. Nah, I'm chilling. Morn is fine. She's just I mean, all this guy does is lose characters, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, so this is just what, Saturday, what you know? better True. place to celebrate say, we... six years of DS as we, you know, Just do Sunday. There we go. <laughs> We're truly celebrating the anniversary. Plus, like, I haven't played Morn in years, dude. It's whatever. Uh, you know. Yeah, but you He's still care about your characters, even when you've played them. Uh, that would mean having feelings. So. I care about my characters, even <laughs> when I haven't played them. But, uh, Lozaniel? Can I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I cast... Oh, uh... Boy. No. Isn't it ironic that silence has a verbal component? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I will. I'll cast. Okay, hold on. It's a twenty foot. Radius. Twenty foot radius sphere. So. I don't want to catch a Lazarin. So if I. Oh no. So if I cast silence. Can I concentrate, on silence? After casting it, while inside it, yes. I guess yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, concentration it just disrupts. It stops, it stops, it stops you cut the casting of the spell. If you yeah. have a verbal, it stops verbal component, component. you can't cut, can't cast anything else. No, actually, what I'll do is I'll cast silence. Ooh. Wait. <laughs> I mean, Lazarin can always move too. So like, yeah. I think. I think. Is... Yeah, but I'm thinking like I I want to limit her options because she could just walk out of it. Yeah. yeah. But like, if I cast it here, then Lazarin can easily move out of it, and if she wants to leave, she has to go past one of us. So I will cast silence. Right there. Huh? Right there. Right there, right there. You just kind of silence until she leaves a bubble, right? There's no save or anything. It's just, uh, just kind of a, yeah. a vibe. Okay. That's yeah. And then I will. She has true sight. So. Um. I'll just go stand behind Brooks. <laughs> Actually, wait. Brooks is lying on the floor. Oh wait, Morwin's right like. Morwen's like dead. 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 Right. Dead. Yes. <laughs> well, a paralyzed Brooks <laughs> is as good as a wall. So I'll stand behind Brooks. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay. It's Aaron. Okay. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. Hold on. Um, it doesn't really help me unless I can get him, like, 
behind me. Here's the wording on this thing. Uh, s switch places. It says for bait and switch, you can do it providing you've spent five, at least five feet of movement. The creature is willing and isn't incapacitated. He's paralyzed on incapacitated. Would I still be allowed to bait and switch with Brooks or no? Creature paralyzed also gives incapacitated as a. Does it? It does. Incapacitated. Yep. Okay, fuck. Okay, so I can't bait and switch with Brooks anyway. Um, in that case, because I'm just like, we just seen one person die. I don't want to lose anyone else. I was, see, I was looking now... at helping Brooks, but freedom of movement is worded in a way that, like, yeah, it wouldn't remove his paralysis. It just enraged. stops him from being paralyzed. It's all right, Laura. Okay. No, one, no one important died, so. Uh, no, no, are you kidding? Uh, You're one of the characters that Sam cares about. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and attack. No, he's right. So the first one is a 29. Okay, Mr. Shit Spell. 29 hits. No one with good spells died. And I'm going to pump no, the... Them, I'm going to use my last... Fun. Um, superiority diet for distracting strike. Mm -hmm. I think freedom of movement does work. Um, I don't think it does. I just, add total I the damage just roll. It up. So, 8 plus 5, 13 plus... So 20 points of slashing damage and her next attack roll against anyone other than me has disadvantage. Huh? And now my other two attacks... Uh, 25 and 21. Yeah, both hit. To hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that is... Oh, 10. 10, 17, plus 14. Oh, math. Okay, 17 plus 10 is 27, plus another 4. 31. 31 points for the both combined, the two attacks of slashing off. damage. Oh, shit. Um, uh, I guess just by... Um. Oh, going for like a decapitating blow, and just uh, as I do it, shouting that it's for Morwen. And fuck that bitch. And she's a hoe. Before the head, even, <laughs> no, we're the hoes. Get it right. Before the head even drops to the ground, it has already fully dissipated, and you again stand in this room. After a fight, looking beat up, Brooks, your paralysis wears off. You hear another whisper. Oh, so close. Stop now. You all heal again for half of the damage you are lacking, or the health you are lacking. Morwen, you wake up. Oh, what? hello? You were... You... You were... You were dead not that i'm not thrilled but you were you were dead hmm? i'm not crazy Wait. right she was dead stranger than fiction uh no you just like you're saying you're one. One. i'm at one, one, at one. okay I know, I know some mystery voice just healed us and all, mm. but I think, I mean, Morwen's still looking a little rough. I wouldn't mind a breather. I'm, any chance for a short rest? Anyone? I'll take it. Sounds good to me. Because then you can roll some hit dice, and I'll give Morwen the basic healing potion that Brooks gave me. I mean, Elazarin also has, like, a spider that has, like, ten charges of cure wounds in it as well. Mm, level two. Well, it has six. Well, we've long rested since then, but yeah. No, I, in this session I've used four. Silly boy. Any but knows? now I get my action surge, my second wind, and a bunch of good yeah, shit. If you guys want to short rest, you're fine. There are also two books yep. that dropped after you defeated them too. Uh, one book is called mm -hmm. The Heroes of Exile Saga, The Corruption of the Fairborough Kingdom. And Ooh. the other one is called The Elemental Guardian's Castle of Ravenloft. Yo. Yeah, that's not too cool. Cool. Okay, if you guys want a short rest, uh, feel free to do so. Yes, please. And yeah. A little bit of I just used all my hit dice and I only got left. 76 out of it. Do you need some more healing? Uh, yeah, I can use like 20 points. 
Any given, Salk, if you given we still potentially have another dragon to face. 16. Oh my god, I wrote so well for this one. Dude, Gorgeous. opening up the game log in this campaign and seeing like 35. 2021. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> brutality to hit. Oh, uh, that's 19. Oh, yeah. 35 uh, points of healing for uh, you, Seiko. 35? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. There you go. It's a lot, a lot. Um, Got a lot of healing, bruv. That's more than I needed. Your other your other ring of restoration can do up to level three, isn't it? Yeah, it's just one spell up to the third level, yeah. Yeah, I, cool. I have uh, not used any low level spells. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to on, let me check. I might just, I'm an arcane recovery here. I think it's my like arcane do, uh, I think is up to level three as well. In a Ugh. second. I've got one big hit left, boys. <laughs> Alrighty, so I feel much more refreshed. Rest and you uh, mm -hmm. freshen up. And then, we do. Meep, meep, meep. My map. Well, given what just happened, I'll also like turn to the group and go, at this point, do we want to just, we're close enough to the end, just cut to the end. It seems like all we're getting are our own story. We're not learning anything yeah. about this place. Yeah, I, I think, I think... We have a rough idea of how this is going to go. Let's just cut to the chase before anyone else mm -hmm. gets power word killed. And while we're fresh-ish. Sure. <laughs> so we'll follow the, the route on the map he gave us now, and <clears throat> unless something stops okay. us, go to the end of that line. And as you reach the end of the line, you stand before a large marble door, which was set between two marble pillars. The door is marked with some writing. Here lies our nameless champion, savior of the world, yet fated to be thrust into nothingness. First, no one even remembers his name. Hmm. Does I it mean... look like... Well, I mean, fuck it, try the door, I don't care. The door like... is hefty, but it does swing open when you push. Okay. Oh. Might, might have been an idea to check for traps, but... You can check the whatever this door opens up to for traps, this final chamber. It's not a trap, it's a lucky guess. We did check for traps. At the very beginning. Yeah, no, I checked you it for traps. Know. In the sense of I opened up, there wasn't a trap. They checked. <laughs> and if there had been a trap, I would have... You're very the, much the same as Nakul. I feel like that's what they call in the uh, industry, reckless abandon. Um, but if it's Bad gotten you this far... How could no. you, Laszlo, being reckless, putting yourself at risk? You'd never... You'd never pin a grenade to yourself, would you? I'm sorry? Or, what's a huh? grenade? Oh my god. I would like to go ahead and check for traps. Make an investigation check? Uh, 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 Fourteen... Uh, as far as you can tell, there are no traps. And as I mean, you look into the tomb, you see <clears throat> this tomb is very well lit, like magical light kind of shining through or like from the ceiling. You see a large stone coffin standing against the back wall. And upon the lid, a stone carved in the shape of a humanoid body uh, lies. And before the coffin stands one final. Who's it gonna be? Right. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna? Who's it gonna? Who's it gonna be? <laughs> Was there anything on the lectern or no? Any guesses of who There's the body is? Any guesses? Gen. It's me. Gen. <laughs> no. Fran. <gasps> oh. That's not a bad shout. That's actually. a good one. Could be Naronk. Uh, could be Naronk. Didn't we meet that guy? We did. He was very much dead. You met. He was. You met Aberan. We like, met the Raven Queen like as well. A, like oh, you Aberyn. guys met Brian. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> like a like a friend of a friend thing. Yeah. Met his protege. I guess there's friend. a lot more overlap than we thought, which hmm. is interesting. Fate has a way of doing that sometimes. Not not much of a 
wasn't a, wasn't a big talker. Oh, he never so. was. Yeah. <coughs> well, unless you called him Brian, and then he's very <laughs> argumentative. Well, he didn't like that. Mm-mm. Only one person pa- was allowed to call him like Brian. Him. The paper says or reads. I understand you are confused. Is this real? Were you real? The answer hmm. to the question is yes, to both. In this Thank world, you. you are merely okay. fictional. The people don't know the truth. I wrote your stories for our republic might look beautiful. Oh. It is a very dark place. People needed hope. The people needed heroes. I looked into the multiverse and found your world. A timeline, a universe, in the outer no. corners of the no. multiverse. I just, I mean... I, Interplanar travel is also very much considered multiverse. So, like, traveling from the Feywilds to the Primetary Plane is multiversal travel, right? Multiverse is very much... Multiverse is multiple yeah, but this is interdimensional like travel. Yeah. yeah. It's like, that's time... T- t- wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey mm-hmm. shit mm-hmm. gets involved and multiverses get involved. Anyway. Um, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey. All right, don't I decided to put your adventures to paper to inspire hope for my world. I am Dalton Moat author, but I am also the Nameless Champion. You stand within my tomb, guarded by pieces of your adventures come to life. Yeah. You suddenly hear a rumble behind you as near the door, a larger-than-life monstrosity. Goat legs, bloated body made of muscle and bloated flesh, Horned, desiccated ram head and leathery black bat wings, building a large you? wand. As Orcus appears. Oh no. Manifest. Waited for this. A chance. My vengeance. It's a shame not all of those who defiled me are here today. But you'll make do. He goes for a large, like a, just this, this larger than life swing with his wand. And right as you close your eyes, kind of flinching, waiting for the impact, you suddenly just hear, No! And, ding! As Orcus' swing lands, and suddenly, the spiritual figure, wearing this silver plate, wielding this large, kind of like, tower shield, just holding it up, blocking. Badass. And he looks back at you, and this, this is very much ghostly figure. This isn't supposed to happen. You're not supposed to be here. He whips out a piece of parchment and a pencil and begins writing. As he finishes writing, he dots the sentence and Orcus disappears. Where were you five rooms ago? Yeah. Um, Figure of speech, Elazarin. I... I'm so sorry. For all of this, how are you here? If we could answer that? Some fucking oh, wizard. Life would be so much easier. Someone who shared a vision very similar to yours and took a liking to your stories summoned us from the pages of your work? Is even possible? He, I think he thinks I he summoned us from know. the pages, but he actually summoned us because not well, being aware that we exist, he well, summoned us from yes, our that's times. that's partially my fault. Um, Dalton Moat, um, very nice to meet you for real this time. I... This is weird. Um, You're telling us? <clears throat> I wrote your stories into fictional books to inspire hope, hoping people would stand up and do the right thing. But instead, someone decided that what the people here weren't good enough. So, yeah, summoned you. That is. I apologize. I didn't think this within the realm of possibility. You must be so confused. Uh-huh. We've been trying not to dwell on it. I have no be honest. fucking clue. <laughs> All in all, it's not been the worst thing, but it's definitely been... Uh, uh, Relatively, for you, you've had a lot more to cry about. 
Thank you. I wasn't going to mention that. What's the last thing? Uh, what's the last thing you remember doing before you? I think work stuff. The crying does make sense. How far into our futures have you seen? Everything. I've seen before your world. I'd like to make it clear. I would like to know nothing. Oh Very God, well, world. I don't need to know. I From don't beginning need to, to end, when it fizzles up into atoms. Well, millennia from now. You've seen everything. And your two groups were by far the best. Saving their world more times than people care to admit. Which is why I figured our world doesn't have him like yours does. Which is why I figured maybe I write these stories down. People that do what we need people to do here. It would inspire people to stand up and do what's right, but it seems instead it it didn't. I may have been dead and lying here in my tomb for all these centuries, but it seems I can feel the veil is still not broken. Which means the intentions I had in writing your stories down well, weren't met. Shame. Waste. But none of that matters to you. You should go find a way back to your home. What exactly yes, are you here for? A shield. Assumedly yours. The wizard assumes that a sentient shield will tell him everything he needs to know about this land before there was a giant ward put up. What a terrible idea. The issue is, is that ever since I died, and he looks down at his shield, and you can see the shield. <clears throat> you can see uh, this, this large tower shield. You can see... Um, Upon it, this, 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 it's, it's made of pure silver. It has all manner of decorative gems and carvings. In the middle of the shield, you see a depiction of Orcus and a depiction of a five-headed dragon. And before them stands these two oh. groups of figures facing off with them. Hey, let's go. This shield, Lightspill Walk, um, was sentient. Well, is, but has gone dormant ever since my passing. I'm sorry. This shield has been around a lot longer than I have. It knows a lot. The trouble is, it needs to be awakened. But I'm sure if a wizard is smart enough to figure out how to transport fictional characters to this world, I might be able to find a way to wake up Light's Bulwark. Fine. Not a horrible idea. Perhaps. Perhaps that will do. Perhaps that will finally be the catalyst to freeing the Republic. Again, I'm so sorry that you've been dragged into all of this. This is not your fight and this is not your world. Um, but if the conjuration functions as it does, then you'll. Turning in the shield to him will probably trigger the, you know, completed the reason for your summoning. Therefore, you are now swooped back to from whence you came. So, take it. It's in my tomb. Bring it to him. Go home. You'll likely forget any of this ever happened. On the off chance, you do remember things. <coughs> and he looks at... Elazarin. Things get better for your friends. Things... Get every, every, every good story goes, right? Things have to get worse before they can get better. I understand if you got transported here right after your victory against Rixoth, that you're at a low. Possibly the lowest low. 
in your story. But it's only, you know, only ways up. Things get better. I won't tell you because that will have really weird consequences in your world and might completely throw everything off course. So for the sake of that, I'm not going to tell you anything, but just trust that... Things get better, and at the end of it all, you win. Huh. <coughs> huh. Okay. Times change, but we can hope. It is so weird seeing all of you, given that, well, the only times I've really seen you was looking into your world from... Yes. Bless you. This, 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 it's, it's strange because your world is, is special. Did you know that? It lives in this special little corner of everything, and it, 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 where normally a lot of timelines and, and, and universes mix and match, yours is kind of isolated. Very strange. But alas, I digress. Um. Take my shield, turn from whence you came, and go home. This isn't your fight. Good luck. We're special. Honestly, just thank you so much for making us feel like we're not the crazy ones here. It is interesting, if though, we... seeing <clears throat> two groups mixed and matched. It's a interesting little crossover. It's Though, if the wizard was somehow convinced that we are, in fact, real, how much would would that affect him? Or the time line? <sighs> would you just... Would you just not? Um, one final question. I would yes. like some credit. Does it end well for all of us? Sorry? Does it end well for all of us? <clears throat> Yeah. I think it all ends the same way, really, Morn. Just, um... Every story has to end. Every story ends, and, well, Morwen, yours... ...does in a very spectacular fashion. Ah, oh, it's a shame we'll forget all of this, because if I could tell... ...Lozan back home, hey... ...Morwen's pretty chill and probably the only one that'll... ...live long enough. For you to spend some time with. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know, I might just think about that. I mean, Trim, Trim will be around for a long time. No, you guys didn't cross paths, but she's really nice. That's one of the ones we've met. Really, really short red hair. No, but Brooks is. No. Brooks, you. Uh, I'd give up if I were you. Well, people, people that tend to use the kind of magics she does, if she keeps practicing long enough, tend to live for well past the age of others in their their race or social circles. So you might have a decent shot. Well, she's a druid now too, so she might last for a long time. Yeah. I mean, some of our lot are. <coughs> Jax is old, old, and Kess is gonna is gonna far outlive the rest of us. And... Oh, it's complicated. I'm really tempted to butt in with things that you don't Please know do. will happen. So, uh, but it's very tempting. Um, I won't. But um, well, it's time for you to and go. not to be unfair at all, but Kasaran and Morwen and myself, I feel that the grand, overarching storyline of the Heroes of is probably somewhat concluded. I mean, individually, yeah, very, we live very long and we die of old. Yeah, These two, on the other, other hand, sorry, I have a lot more to be written. Unnecessary. <laughs> Unnecessary. Can we That's, take your sorry, shield and leave? I, I, I did it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Hard to not butt in when you know everything. I know that feeling. What number am I thinking of right now? Well, you just they learned that Banaka turned into a book, lich and so... you did nothing about it, huh? Probably high up your mind. Well, I was still debating whether this is actually a story and maybe just a figment. Oh, no, that's real. 
Oh Isolation. my god. I'm gonna just take the shield and start leaving. <laughs> I have done. Um, Kisarin, just come here. Uh, we're we're out of the book. Everyone right hold now, my right? hand. Well, you were never really in. No, but. You take know a look. Oh, well, currently you're not. Know, well. Read a book. Okay, no, so if you've seen everything, you've not seen, but you've just seen everything that when we were over there, so have you not. <laughs> like, have you seen this bit or not? Or is this like. Yeah. I miss him. We both, we've both just got a hand on Morwen, like. Yeah, and we're just looking for like. We're, we're never I've seen everything now. that like, happens to you hello? in your world. This um. So basically, Brooks, if you die here right now, he wouldn't know it's happened. So I mean, best thing to it. So we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> exactly. Let's go. Grab. And your sleep. You die in real life. This is very okay. strange. Thank you for chronicling our legacies in your world. Goodbye. Morwen Airlines leaving in five, four. I'll touch Morwen on the shoulder. Two, I'll grab on one. Morwen. I'll cast teleport. Okay, so you're teleporting back to uh, Matey Boy's house. Yeah. As you appear, uh, you just hear this this loud voice as you kind of like reappear in the room where you originally met. And you just kind of <gasps> go back. And you have the shield! I knew you could do it! So, yes, mm -hmm. right. how was it? I just like, like, toss it on the ground. She died! Can we go home now? It yeah, was done. Very much so. Put us back in the book. Your world sucks. Hey, well, Hero, I suppose. It never meet your heroes, like... asshole. Fucking put us back in the book. You know what, Elazar? Like if you want, I'll sign a vial of your tears for you. How about you be a hero, or train some heroes, or find some heroes, rather than stealing them from other universes that you believe are fictional? Yeah, the entire that, point that, of that, those that, books... That are fictional. The entire point of those books you allegedly read to know we exist was that anyone, including people who call themselves ragtag fuckwits, can be a hero. None of them sat there and asked other people to do it for them. Maybe next time pay more attention and do some critical thinking with your reading material. I'll be honest, if I thought it would work, I would ask other people to do it. I'll be honest, it. I did ask other people. I asked the Empress for some help and she told me no, to fuck me. The, so. the, end, the end of this special episode is just the yeah. heroes lecturing the quest giver on why you should, <laughs> shouldn't have fucking called them. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, us two are both like, yeah, no, we get it. Like, fuck yeah, that noise. Like, like literally... Done the hero shit. If I had the choice, oh, that someone else fucking do it. Because this is kind of fool. Um, Lazarin. Hello. Just remember to send me a message when you guys are in Cal's here again. I'll see what I can do. Do you remember any of this? Remember to try. Try. I really I... hope you read that book of yours frequently. Not these books. Not yours. Points to wizard. I. Your book. Morwen. Mm hmm. Oh. At some point, hopefully. All right. So, um. Good. You insulted me enough. And now I'm quite bored of you. Uh, thank you. Good. And goodbye. Bye. And he Bye, very boring hand, yourself. And you whistle. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you all return. We're leaving it swearing or going like this. The moment she she the 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 <laughs> right before. So, Kisarin, you suddenly reappear in your home. And Ryagel kind of stands across from you, kind of. Mom? You. Good? Uh, oh, thank God. Wait, we don't remember. Do we remember? You before I decide how I react. Kind of awaken you. from this daydream and Ryagel's kinda of says, You have goes off for a couple minutes there, are you okay? And you like time only only a couple minutes have passed. Okay. Um you it's it's like you know you know you dreamed, but you can you can can't really trying to think of like what did I dream about? The only I thing, don't have the book that the I The only took. thing, yeah, none of the things you've brought with you God, dang it. are there. The only thing that kind of lies higher in your mind, of like in your memory, is. For some reason, you have this urge to kind of to kick it with Rosanna Morwen. It's been a while. You know, it's been a while since you, you've seen these, yeah. these, these people. Um, as, as she, like, waves at me, I was like, sorry, I just. <clears throat> I I don't think I've been getting enough sleep. I've been spending too much time with your 
siblings, and I was also just kind of, you know, when you're just like have like old friends you haven't seen in a while, but then something like reminds you of them, and then you just start thinking like, oh, I wonder what they're up to. Oh, it's been so long, and oh no, sorry. Oh, you're getting old. <laughs> yeah, I can still kick your ass in the ring anytime. Don't give me that. <laughs> I can see you trying. You're on downstairs. <laughs> downstairs. All right. Um, Lozan, you awaken as you are kind of perched down on one of the one of the higher buildings in Port Surin. Your mission on the Heroes of Exile was make to scout the area. They're expecting an important shipment, and you seem to have dozed off for a couple minutes. You're still perched on this higher building. Kind of looking at the docks, looking around, and just kind of snap out of it, and then you have that feeling of like, oh, so off for, for a minute there, uh, weird. And uh, similar to Kasser, and none of your belongings or anything you take, you you may have pocketed in uh, the dreamscape um, is there. And you also have this like annoying feeling of I, I you dreamed, but you don't remember. Uh, the only thing, the only feeling you can kind of channel is uh, you don't regret taking, you know, stepping down from your role as, uh, you know, prime hero of exile and just kind of taking jobs like these. These are a lot more relaxed. And for some reason, that feeling of yeah, I chose the right path. Kind of is, is reinforced in your in your mind. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Morwen. You are back in one of your in, in your you know in your kind of like your planning room in your home. Kind of leaning on your fist with your elbow on this table that has maps. <clears throat> and again, none of the things you add in your pockets or anything in another place made it back you dozed off you try to think of what you dreamed about you don't remember but the only thing you have this it's almost like not necessarily knowledge but there's this inkling that something bad has happened regarding the knock something oh, you no. didn't anticipate and it just reinforces that drive that you need to find. And end him. Good. Da -da -dum. Brooks, you suddenly snap back from where you were as you are currently lying on Kess's bed while Kess is, is, is talking to her hey. dad. Uh, well, hey, talking yo. to her dad, and, and they're arguing about medicine and things and that of that nature, and and they both look at you uh, as you as you kind of wake up. Took you long enough. Did we uh, did what? we bore you or something? Um, don't really. Oh. No, I look it. Being somewhere where it's always fucking, like, beachy and not dark is weird to get used to in terms of sleep habits. Right, well, um... I have not been sleeping enough. We, uh... <clears throat> we have some... Some work to do. There is not much you remember one thought stuck around in your head. Oh, I should probably no. read about those heroes of exile. <laughs> You're, for Dagen some there. reason, Sorry. have a really bad feeling. For some reason, you hear a Lazarin's voice telling you that Dagon has uh -oh. died. <laughs> you can't shake that feeling. You don't remember how you would know this or him telling you this, but it feels very real. <clears throat> no. Alasrin. Like, okay. 
you snap back into it, and you're in the chapel in Kelsier. You've just teleported your friends and General Kron safety. And you look around, and you can see the rest of the party, and including this, this, this newcomer. They're all kind of just staring at you. It's gonna... Kron goes, are you... Us. Yes. Kind of yes. froze up there for a. Uh, it's. I love that. Love the process. Uh, I just needed some time. Just thinking. Just... Um. Get some food. Drink that sounds. Ed. Good. That sounds perfect. And uh, as you've all been returned to your world, your time, we'll end it there. Uh, back to our regularly scheduled campaign two next week, I reckon. Damn, a last one doesn't remember what Morwen said. That yo, sucks. He doesn't, yeah, well, actually, you know, Dutch didn't tell me how much I remembered or not, so who knows? Plus, and again, it's, it's meant to Dutch's kind. You remember everything, time, then. The next time yeah. he opens his book, if somehow the magic of I the remember, world gets through, like, for a Lazarin's bit, I have planned. Ooh. Yep! It's almost Ooh. like trauma, 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 trauma. Because of, well, so because of what Elazarin is like, you know, Elazarin's character is at an all time fucking low. I, uh, there's the, his next, like, actual A sleep will have some. Ooh. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I figured this would be a nice little way to kind of recap some of the things cool. that you guys went through over Hell the last six yeah. years of DDing. There's a couple ones you missed, obviously, because towards the end. Of course, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were running low on time. Uh, but I can quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, that too. Yeah, we were running low on time, and you all fucked up by. Didn't, didn't miss any fights. Yeah, the rule so was. The... Oh, you did we miss fighting? Uh, you didn't miss, didn't, fights. Didn't, miss... You didn't miss any fights. Oh. You didn't miss any fights. Did all the fights. Oh, you, oh you... we probably missed a fucking Tremera ship, probably, dude. That was uh, huge. Uh, no. Oh. You missed. Let me just quickly go through it. Uh, you missed a passage about uh, Jax and his bout with uh, Ricard Pierslev. Ah. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, you missed the uh, you know, pretty big one for Kasarin. Uh, you know, right. finding the, guy. Uh, the red mass individual as he slips off his mask, uh, only to uh, himself the as twist. Matron. Yeah. The, um, the ready to stab at a guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um, you missed one that told the story about Davian completing his trials for Kosuth and officially uh, being... Yeah, that's it. You know. The special boy. Special boy. The special boy. The special and then the final boy. one you missed was uh, a passage about Gen. Oh. oh. About Gen returning again. to the kingdom that he once called mm -hmm. home before Tristram Sacreth and his corruption killed his king and uh, this coup happened. What you missed? Yeah, pretty much all. Oh, thank, thank God there wasn't a fucking brick soft Brick one, dude. Up. God, that just <laughs> that happened. You don't need to but, relive um, it. Yeah, he didn't have time to write that. Yeah, you know, <laughs> he was getting ready. He was there, like but, uh, <laughs> for to, so this Linos Republic and and you. Is this campaign three yeah, teaser that we got to see? The Linos Republic will be. Campaign three is going to. Yeah, Woo! the land. Oh. It, I was it, hoping, it, dude. It feels a little fableish. The whole like. There's no more heroes. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Uh, it, it's like, it's like a video like, game intro. That is very yeah. much what the setting is in campaign three. It's going to be you're in the Lunar Republic. You've this Republic has been warded off from the rest of the world for fucking eons, and there's a lot of it's, and it's, it's there's 3. a lot 5 of five E Pathfinder. That, no, there's a lot of political. It's a, uh, one e. It's a very political oh campaign, political and like I'll a, be a fighting a, man, espionage oh, wait, and, big and political finding yes. out the truth and. Um, yeah. Like like this political slash mystery solve slash you know what the fuck is real? How is oh, the uh, other side so of this that. barrier? I think is it's there a even state in the Middle East. Fuck you. Is there <laughs> even still a world there, or are we it? You know, like there's a lot of ugh, mystery there. That's 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 the setting for for Gambian Three. Um, are we gonna end up interacting with a fucking wizard that is obsessed with the stories of a far off land? I really hope not. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. This was the moment okay. we start doing heroic things. He's the new nobody. Uh, yeah, no, he no, he's like he's like it's happening. 
It's happening! It's happening! He's, he's out there putting fucking waifu posters up of like the... Obviously, uh, that is still very far away. There's a lot of things, but um, I figured, you know, a little, little, little bit of... Look at the past with the campaign 1 characters and the campaign 2 characters and all that, but also a little mm -hmm. taste of... Has he got a more one body? The shot? setting for campaign 2. <laughs> Who doesn't? They fly off the shelves. But, um, I hope you guys had fun. I really hope, uh, this, uh, did. It was fun, fun little, uh, trip down the lane. Gotta go eat dinner now, though. I mean, fuck and, you for uh, killing me, but yeah. Six Ooh. years of DS, boys. Six years of fucking DS. Let's, uh, oh, yeah. none of us get sick of this and keep playing. Oh, it's Power oh, yeah. Kill, wasn't it? Not, no, not I'm just sick of, uh, Quiver, honestly. <laughs> uh, we'll be back to your regularly scheduled Dungeon Select Campaign 2 next Sunday, baby. So Bye. Bye. Bye.